Hello, people of the chat all over the internet. I see you on Facebook, YouTube, Mixer, Twitter, and what was the last one again? Hmm. I forgot. I started with a T, I think, possibly. Twitch! I see you there. You guys are all chatting around. Uh, we're about to get started very soon. Just doing uh, some tinkering on our end, making sure everything's good to go. And then we'll be live. Just uh, enjoy the music for now. And we will be live shortly. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Lewis. I'm your host for today's live build for well-renowned NBA player Myers Leonard of the Miami Heat. Uh, PJ's behind the scenes. He's getting the camera ready over there. But uh, those are the parts right there, ready to go. Audio's a little quiet. Are you talking about my audio or the music audio? I turned off the music audio, but if my audio is really low, please... Do let me know. I turned this up. How about that? Ooh. This is an audio test. Sounds good to me. Hopefully that tweaked. Just a little, a little tweaking the knob is good. A little bit. Still quiet, but better. How about... All right, how about now? All right, all right. Halfway for me. Hold on. Because I don't want to be freakishly loud. If I'm freakishly loud, then I'm going to ruin your ears. Especially if I start yelling. I'm not going to yell today. Anyways, these are the specs of the build we are about to build shortly. This is a Millennium desktop. It's going to be white. Uh, you you'll see red panels there, but we're going to swap them out. The power supply is a Corsair RM850X 80 plus gold power supply. The motherboard is an X570 Aorus Elite. So if you, you notice there that motherboard, you know what's coming. That's correct, this is a Ryzen PC build. The uh, CPU cooling unit is a Corsair H150 iPro RGB cooling unit. The fans, we're going with Corsair L IQ RGB fans. We've been using those for pretty much every build we've done on stream. The CPU is an AMD Ryzen 3900X. It comes with 12 cores, all at 3.8 gigahertz, with the possibility of 4.6 max boost when you're, you know, going hard on your PC. For the GPU, we're going with 11 gigabyte NVIDIA GeForce RTX 20 Ti, and we got a little surprise for that GPU as well. Uh, we'll, we'll showcase that during the stream. For the RAM, we got 32 gigabytes of 3200 megahertz DDR4 Corsair Dominator Platinum RGB. Um, that, hold on, what? No. So, sorry. Uh, Dominator Platinum RGB, which for those of you that are unfamiliar, Platinum, or, or Dominator Platinum, the best of the best for RAM. Some might say too much, others might say not enough. For me, it's just right. For storage, coming in at one terabyte, a Seagate Fire Cuda NVMe M.2 SSD. Yesterday during Bike Man's build, we went over it and went over the speeds, and it's a fast little uh, SSD. Shaped like a little piece of gum, a really big piece of gum, and it can reach speeds. Actually, let me, it's over 3,500, uh, or in that, that range for read-write. 
pretty crazy. And combined, I need to add a disclaimer here, and combined with the Ryzen 9, if I'm correct, I believe you can get that uh, PCI 4, or that the, the, the high-end speeds, but I'm gonna verify that during the stream. For storage, a six terabyte Seagate Barracuda hard disk drive for all the games and files and whatever else you need to store on the PC that won't go to the SSD. Of course, Origin PC wooden crate armor. For those of you that don't know, we do ship for PCs in wooden crates. The warranty, lifetime 24 seven, US based support and lifetime free labor and Windows 10. A no Linux here, friends, a no Linux. You can if you wanted to, we won't stop you. Time, Peter's gonna be right back, but I am ready to take any of your questions. I believe I saw Myers in chat, if I'm correct. Let me see if I can make him a VIP real quick. But welcome, Myers. I was I was busy reading out all the specs. I, I was kind of like peeking at chat, and I think I saw his name. I am indeed here. Hey, welcome. How's it going? Let me uh do some do a something something here. Give me a moment. Welcome. But I'm also ready to take any of your, all your questions from those of you on Facebook, YouTube, Mixer, Twitch, Twitter, I need to see what's up with Twitter. The problem with Twitter is that the messages pop up and they disappear really fast, at least for me. So Twitter is only, it's more of just watching. So hi, Twitter. All right. And it is a Friday, and we're about to build this Ryzen build. Well, let's see here. Do you have a Discord? Yes, we do. You can actually sign up at discord.gg slash origin PC. It'll give you the invite to join our server. Uh, our admins have to approve you. Our admin mods have to approve you. And once that's clear, um, you can interact in our several channels. It's not the large Discord, but at least, you know, there, there's some communication going on over there. What else do we got? I'm going to put on the music here. Very low. A very low. This is the very shortly we're going to get some action here. All right. Michael on Facebook, you feel that the all-in-one will cool the Ryzen 9 3900 effectively. So many people suggest water cooling for 3950X, 39 different, uh, or 3900, a different case. I'm assuming the 3900X, because you can't just by the 3900 there's actually there actually does exist a ryzen 9 3900 but i'm assuming you're talking about the 3900x um i would say so because it gets hot and one thing that liquid cooling is good at is you know cooling i want to lower the music or just cut it for now um one thing 3900 get gets really hot so the liquid cooling does a pretty good job of that you can use a heat sink a really good heat sink but for cool, liquid cooling, I would, I would probably go with liquid cooling for, for that. Personally, again, I'm at this like point of reference. I'm using the i7-9700K with the heatsink. And it works for me, but I know that if I did go with liquid cooling, I could probably get a little bit better performance with it. So, P just coming in with a, a top secret panel. It was not here, but now it is. But we'll show you guys that later. So that's my recommendation, but I'm sure other people online have uh, other recommendations. Again, you could probably run it fine with um, a heatsink, but liquid is most likely the preferred route. Because if I'm correct, I'm trying to remember, does it come with... Yeah, I think that one does come with an AMD... Um, if you buy that CPU, it does come with the little uh, cooler. So... I'm a fan of the Evo 2012, uh, 212, not for Ryzen 9s. So yeah. Are you using an uh, all-in-one? Today for this stream, we are. Me, personally, I have an all-in-one in one of my PCs. The second one uses a heatsink. So I, I'm both. I'm in both sides there. I'm building my first system this weekend. I'm a little nervous. Any advice? Uh, number one, don't be nervous. You need to read up on everything you possibly can about your parts and whatever you got together. Um... Make sure you're familiar with, you know, your components, your case, especially your case. You need to be super familiar with because you learn that sometimes cases have like 
little nooks and crannies that are really good for the cabling. Um, make sure you got you know the little things from the motherboard are set there. Um, and if you haven't watched a bunch of guides, please do. And the, the problem with guides sometimes is they show you a guide on how to build a PC for a specific case. So it might not apply to you, but the overall mechanics or the, the general ideas are still there. Um, if you stick around the stream, you'll see how PJ builds it, but note that the Millennium case is very different from the case you are most likely building at home. Millennium is a full tower case with a lot of space in the front for drives and cooling and anything else there compared to, I think the most common trend right now in PC cases is um, mid-tower compact cases. You'll find that many uh, case people, like Corsair, you know, shouting out Corsair, if you go to their their site, and actually our site too, we do offer a bunch of uh, compact cases that eliminate that entire bay area. Me personally, I don't like the bay area. I love compact cases. So let's see what we got. Don't forget the IO shield. Oh, I think this motherboard already has the IO shield uh, installed. Normally, when you go higher end with the motherboards, um, the IO shield's already on there. It's, it's it's a new trend with the motherboard. I think it's great because um, I know those man those IO shields. I was messing on one of my builds. It took a while for me to get it on there the right way because it's just one little uh, notch and it's not on there, and you're just like, oh, I have to do it all over again, or I have to you know mess with it to get it on there. I'm building a $4,200 PC. Any advices? Uh, well, I just said some of them earlier, but just to reiterate, um, do your research. Know what your what your parts are, what they can do. Um, make well one one thing. I mean, if you bought the parts already, I'm assuming you bought the right power supply, and I'm assuming you bought the right case to fit your motherboard. Because worst case scenario is you buy like a large motherboard for a small case, and that case doesn't support it. Then you'll be like, oh no, I gotta return it and all sorts of stuff so the perils but it's a fun experience doing my tracks in a cooler master master box let me see that one let's take a look so pj is about to replace the the panels micro atx cooler i'm looking it up if you're wondering I like looking at different cases because there's so many different designs out there that, you know, there's some that are really good and some that I'm like, I would never build in that one. Well, that's a cool one. Let's take a look. Plate cool. It's got that mesh and it's got that tempered glass. Not a bad looking case. I like it. And it's one of those compact cases I was talking about earlier. Because again, that entire front bay area is almost pretty much gutted. So, and they like apparently the thermal. Cool. Well, good luck. Yeah, it should fit. I mean, you can still go with an ATX motherboard on that uh, that one too. It has enough space for it. I mean, it'll be a little tight in the bottom, but it's still buildable. So. You just checking those little notches there, making sure everything's good. Can you just buy an Origin PC case? So you cannot. We've done that every blue moon or so. When I say blue moon, like every couple of years. Um, it's a rare occurrence, and you just can't buy our cases. They're exclusive to us, and to get the case, you have to get the full system, which at that point, you just buy a full PC. Um, we do, if you are interested in cases, uh, Corsair site's pretty good, but we do have a bunch of Corsair options on our site too, that you can't buy in a Corsair, by the way, because a lot of those cases on Corsair site are sold out, but we still have some of those cases, and if you need a PC build, we have the case, and you can get all the parts all in one place, so that's pretty cool. Dang, this guy's efficient. Um, I'm assuming you're probably new to the streams. Well, welcome, Hang. PJ is one of our master builders here at Origin PC. So you'll see that he, if, once he gets in the zone, he can definitely take off. So. Myers Leonard gifting 
to the people of Twitch, thank you so much, Myers, giving it so many subs out there. If I had the notifications on, it would be losing it right now, but I can watch it here on Twitch and holy cow! That is crazy. Again, all our subs go to uh, St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, so thank you very much, Myers. Greatly appreciated. Um, it's going to be a big uh, check going out to St. Jude this month, so awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh my gosh, Myers, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> when he did my little spiel, he just... Oh man, if there is a party currently going on in Twitch, Myers just gifted 50 tier 1 subs to the community, now with a total of 70. And now I'm just kind of like stunned almost. I'm just like, now I see a bunch of people that are subscribed to the, the channel now and just the reaction. So, uh, wow. Again, thank you very much, Myers. Holy moly, that's... Wow. Uh, quick maths there. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, no. 50 more. I don't know. I feel like some of you that are watching on Twitch are at this point just. Wow. It's not stopping. Another 50 from Myers Leonard. I, if I had the notifications, no lie. I'm not going to lie. It would be going on over and 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 over. But again, thank you very much. <laughs> oh man, I I'm stunned. I'm not saying a lot right now because I'm stunned. Just because, like, I've been doing streams for a while. Typically, it's you know, a couple people subscribe every so often. It's just cool. I give the, sh the shout out. But uh, thank you so much, Myers Leonard, and hopefully enjoy the build and uh, what we got going on here today. And actually, you know what? I saw your Discord message. Sorry, I missed it because I was busy doing all this other stuff. Uh, Myers, let me see if I can get you on here. I can get you with audio or video. It's up to you. Audio is the easiest, by the way. If you're able to chat for a little bit. Audio works. All right, let's do it. Everyone, we're going to add Myers to the chat. Um, for those of you that know, he is an NBA player for the Miami Heat, which currently NBA is, you know... Um, on hiatus or on hold right now because what's happening in the world. But Myers does play on Twitch and he plays a lot of Call of Duty, from my understanding. So we're going to talk to him uh, quickly here and see what's up. So let's give it a shot here. Let me see here. I'm going to change cameras really quick. All right. So I'm going to add this. And let's see. Let's take a look. Myers, you there? There we go. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. You're there. Definitely loud and clear. Awesome. Right, Beautiful. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. First of all, holy cow. <laughs> Those <laughs> subs, dude. You caught me off guard. Completely caught me off guard. I've been doing this for a while now, um, doing the streams for Origin. We've done, sure. you know, stuff for St. Jude, and we always do the, the campaigns to, you know, raise money and promote yeah. the subs, but... It's just insane what I saw just now. Absolutely. You stunning. know what? Um, I would have gifted subs anyways, but as soon as you mentioned St. Jude, I've actually been fortunate enough to go there uh, probably three or four times throughout my career. I think that the NBA teams do a pretty good job of trying to uh, have the team do hospital visits and such in, in different cities. And so I've, I've been to St. Jude, and I, mm -hmm. on the whole, just – for my wife and I giving back is, is incredibly important. And obviously during, throughout this month, I'm not sure how, how aware of everything you are, but I I've done, um, I'm doing another third huge stream tonight and, and we're going to, to get the, the total 175,000 raised to feed a million people in the month of April. So that's uh, amazing. I'm pretty excited. Yeah. Yeah. What time is that happening tonight? 8 PM Eastern. It's, um, we, the, the talent pool is actually insane. We we managed to basically get one athlete, uh, one Call of Duty League Pro or one high level Twitch streamer, and then um, I'm partnering with a Players Network. So a few of their kind of guys who have signed with them uh, on Twitch uh, to do a, a 30 man, 10 team trio Warzone event. So I'm pretty pumped. Oh wow! And to organize all that, I'm assuming it took a while to organize a lot to gather everyone together, right? 
Uh, yes, to say the least. I, um, I, I didn't realize when I started, you know, obviously there was the goal to raise the money and I was not going to stop at anything to make sure it got done. So the, the first stream I did actually, I feel like I have a, a badge of honor of sorts on Twitch. I, I did a 24 hour live stream. In fact, I went 25 and a half and was going to keep going, but my mm -hmm. internet shot out. Uh, so I did that. And then uh, we had an all NBA uh, Warzone solos event about 10 days ago. And now I'm I'm putting together this final stream, which should be which should be pretty awesome. It's got like twi Twitch pr front page and whatnot. So I'm I'm pumped. But I've been incredibly busy, like more busy than the season. Well, I mean, it's great that you're keeping busy, you know, given what's happening right now. And you're for doing sure. it for awesome causes as well. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I'm blessed, man. I It's always on my heart to, to give back. So e e easy choice for me to, to put in the time and try to help other people. So where can people find the stream? Because I'm going to copy yeah, the link so and put it in chat. Yeah, give me one second. I can, I can do that for you. Um, it's on Players Network, but the you actually don't spell out. One second. Uh, you can send it via Discord. I can post it. Okay, cool. That's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. Um, one second. Let's go to their homepage. And there we go. It's going to be right there. And uh, as I mentioned, there's just a, a ton of athletes. Um, you know, Gold Glove, uh, a bunch of Call of Duty League pros, a bunch of guys with FaZe, because I actually am invested in FaZe and, mm -hmm. and, and do some work with FaZe. So I'm, I'm excited, man. But let's get to the most important thing here. Um, the PC build. Yeah. I am ecstatic, man. Like you have, I, I have to say, I, I, I was on a panel the other day and it talked about the modern day two sport athlete and what that essentially means is making the crossover uh, to the esports world mm -hmm. and everything like that. I've been in for well over two years now, but um, to have a partnership like this, it is just so amazing. I, I truly, truly mean that. Like, uh, I, I am pumped to have a PC that's just like I don't know. I guess embraces the hammer mentality of sorts because this thing is going to be nuts it absolutely is and we're honored as well um it's you, you got your ryzen 9 3900x and the 2080i which for a lot of people that speak pc stuff that is the best hardware or some of the best hardware on the market right now i love it i love to hear it i am not i, I have to be totally transparent i'm not like a tech guru however i i am you know i have the the relative knowledge needed to to uh you know get by but looking at all the specs when when the email was sent to me i was like okay this sounds uh really powerful <laughs> <laughs> actually we'll go and take a look at the specs really quickly here while uh Peter's grabbing some more tools and stuff for the build so awesome so we were talking about earlier the amd ryzen 9 3900x is a 12 core cpu uh with 12 cores at 3.8 gigahertz which in 2020 is insane uh, historically, PC parts obviously you know uh, continuously grow, but AMD mm -hmm. has grown so high in terms of their performance, and they've won back the PC community with the the Ryzen processors. And 3900X yeah. is a hit among PC or PC power users, I should say. Got it. Uh, are you familiar with the uh, NVIDIA? Yes. Indeed. Yeah. GeForce RTX 2080i. It launched. Now we're getting close to the three year mark. Is the best of the best. Still continues to be. Um, it's the go-to powerful GPU if you want the absolute best for PC gaming. Okay. For storage, uh, one terabyte, ter one terabyte Seagate Fire CUDA NVMe M.2 SSD. Um, do you have any SSDs on your PCs? Uh, I believe so. Yeah. Well, uh, on my first one, I did. Yes, not quite this size. And then, obviously. Well, I don't know, obviously, but um, you guys sent me a, a loaner PC because because we essentially started the relationship, and then obviously we have this custom build. So mm -hmm. uh, I've been using this this uh, loaner PC, but yes, I'm uh, I, I understand this this portion a little bit. <laughs> so just as a background, that uh, Seagate Firecuda drive is absolutely phenomenally fast. It's one of the fastest drives on the market, and combined with the Ryzen nine CPU. It goes. It gets a little extra fast, if that makes any sense. So it's <laughs> a good com. Oh, yeah. It's a good combo because yesterday we did a build with an Intel system. Uh -huh. So this is interesting that yesterday we did Intel. Now today we're doing AMD build. It's interesting to see the back and forth. But they're both solid systems. Today's system is still awesome. Um, 
and of course you have your fans arguing like, oh, this one's better than the other one. But to me, I think they're both excellent, and this one is going to be pretty special because not, it's not just extra special because we added some little uh, visual cues, which you'll see later on in the stream. Oh man, I'm excited. He hasn't seen it yet. Yeah, I don't believe he's seen it yet. PJ, PJ was asking uh, if you've seen them. Have you seen them or not yet? Um, are you talking? There's there's one image I was sent uh, and a, a small video of the the court of sorts. I'm just gonna say so people don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So we, yeah, we got that on standby, and we got other uh, cool things as well. Love it. So I, I okay. I do have one of the little golden nuggets here, but it sounds like we might have some more uh, surprises, maybe. Yep. And honestly, awesome. I really want the chat to take a look because this is some cool stuff. I love when we show off this kind of stuff on stream because um, it's like extra custom stuff. We can do it for uh -huh. customers. Just you know, they'd have to contact our sales team and you know work stuff out. And we've done stuff like that before. It's just I love showing it off on stream because it's not something you typically see in a PC build. Got it. So, so my man, so my man, you said PJ, yes? Yes, PJ is the builder, and I believe he uh, he was the one that delivered the loaner to you. Yes, oh shit, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry, excuse that's my language. Okay. No, you're fine. <laughs> um, um, uh huh. Yeah. So. He, yeah, yeah, he was telling me the story yesterday and how he had to hand deliver it and carry it up. Um, oh yeah, carrying that up two flights of stairs and then all the way back across the house to my stream room was quite. Uh, it was a lot, so yeah. I got respect for for his guns because clearly he's got some he's got some power in those arms. Yep, and uh, let me tell you, they're I mean, you already know because you you've probably lifted yourself. It's pretty heavy. Um, uh, yeah, it was very heavy. I was shocked. Yep. So I think all the I think all of the power is harnessed in his beard. By the way, <laughs> some might say that. Some might say that. <laughs> so right now, uh, PJ just. Uh, put in the RAM. The CPU is already on board. I think he's working on that SSD. Uh, PJ, can you show us the SSD when you get a chance? Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to our friends over in C8 Gaming, who are powering this PC with the 510. Actually, let me call it Firecuda SSD. And here it is on screen. Once it's out of the anti-static wrapper. <laughs> <laughs> and you got to protect it, man. I mean, we're in Miami, comes. but, you know, because people always call us out for, for static stuff. And, like, we're in Miami. We're fine. But there it is. The focus is a little off, but can you flip it? Anything on the other side or no? No. Oh, that, yeah, that, oh, yeah, there you go. See, that's where all the branding is. That's what we wanted. Yeah, there it is. Fire Kuda. Boom. There we go. Now, I'm actually going to jump over to a, a Seagate's website because we did that yesterday. We're going to take a look at it again because... The thing is, when you work with an uh, SSD that fast, it's hard to go back. So if you use another PC, or not to name any names, but a PC that's similar to a fruit, the speeds on a regular, like an actual Windows PC can get pretty fast. Especially for games. Because you're going to play games on this thing, right? Me? Absolutely. Yeah. So it's definitely perfect for games. Um, which games... Besides Call of Duty or just Call of Duty? All right, so I'll give you a quick background. Uh, huge Call of Duty guy through and through mm -hmm. um, for, for my entire life. And then uh, when Fortnite came around, that was the explosion of Twitch, right? Like yeah. people, there was the OGs like Doc and everybody who had been around. But boom, all of a sudden Fortnite takes off. Yep. So my, my uh, fan base of sorts wanted to see me play Fortnite because that's what was popular. So I, I learned Fortnite and, you know, I wasn't so comfortable with the third person shooting, but it was fun and whatever. So I did that. And then, uh, to be honest, I wasn't a huge fan of the first Blackout, the first uh, Battle Royale mode that they came out with. So I waited patiently. I kept playing Fortnite and all of a sudden, boom, Modern Warfare, Warzone, just insane. Such a good game. Uh, I have grinded, man. I have weird flex here but i i had damascus camo and then i just got my first oh. uh, obsidian camo today so uh i'm going like it, it, it's i i play a lot to say the least so definitely uh, just based on that is like if you you play call of Duty warzone you probably understand what he just said but that that's a lot it takes a lot of time to get that yeah yeah so uh so yeah the, there you have it uh, i play a lot of call of Duty. that's pretty much what it is right now just straight straight call of duty i mean we'll see uh what's coming up for this year uh, I don't know. If, I mean, Warzone seems to be a massive hit. Um, do you play? Sure um, you play on PC primarily, right? Or do you play on the other platforms too? 
I do only play. Well, I I started on Xbox when I first started streaming, then I quickly switched to PC servers just because the frame rates and everything are so much better. Mm -hmm. uh, and I wanted to improve. You know, obviously playing on controller has its advantages, but playing against mouse and keyboard players, there are some laser beams out there. So yep. um, just improving my skill set and, and improving in, in FPS uh, situations and in, in games, just is what I wanted to do. So I just moved moved to PC and will never go back. That's awesome to hear. I know it's always cool to to hear those stories of you know people jumping over the PC and like, oh man, PC is great. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I started with consoles uh, way back in the day and then made the jump to PC and I haven't looked back since then. It's like it's been my primary platform forever. So, gotcha, gotcha. Um, let's talk a little bit about Twitch because you stream on your own personal channel, correct? That's correct. Yes. Um, yeah. Any whatever you hit me with the best shot. Um, what have you found to be an inch or for your community at least? How, how does it feel for them and for you to be streaming directly to them, you know, compared to say like uh, a game at the arena, right? How different sure, is it? Yeah. Like, how does it feel? Um, you know, uh, I, I feel as though I'm an entertainer kind of at heart, mm -hmm. is the best way to put it. And uh, I think one thing that I've realized is. Yes, people love watching me play basketball. They love watching the Miami Heat. They love the NBA. Mm -hmm. But when they – I think that sometimes people are almost uh, a bit nervous to come up to a very large seven-foot person and maybe ask a question. But they know that in my chat, they can, they're they just going to get a normal guy on camera. Mm -hmm. Like, Myers, tell me about the struggles you went through in your past or mm -hmm. tell me about the transition from Portland to Miami, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. They know that it's a very fun and authentic community. And I, I truly believe and know that that's why I've continued to grow in this space. And um, now uh, obviously with, you know, collaboration with you guys and, and this partnership and um, you know, the 24 hour and just I, the fact that I'm able to host an event basically on my own and have all these athletes and influencers and streamers come to support my cause lets me know i think that people see the genuine um uh, feeling of my passion towards gaming i guess is the best way to put it so it's mm -hmm. a lot of fun man i love it because again gaming is a major passion of mine so not only do i get to relax and play games but i also get to entertain and have real conversations with with my fans i think that's awesome because it's true because when you're on the court it's a different experience versus being on camera and playing games and I, I don't know. I, I think it's it's that's that's a great answer. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Um, I'll, I'll give you one funny story. So Fortnite, I was OK at not great. You know, maybe a seven out of ten, maybe mm -hmm. um, Turner hosted me, Tifu, 44,000 people. Um, I for sure would rather have to take a game winning three. <laughs> <laughs> like with the game on the line, then have a bunch of people who watch the best Fortnite player all day, every day, and watch me try to build and, and crank 90s and, <laughs> and drop maybe 10 kills. Like, talk about nervous. Oh my gosh. That is great. That is actually pretty funny. <laughs> it's oh, yeah. A different I was world. So nervous. Oh my gosh. Like, when you put it in perspective, I'm thinking, like, wow, that's true. Like, that is, like, which one would you rather? That's a, uh, it reminds me of, like, um, there's this game uh, from Jackbox Games, like one of those party games is like, which would you rather do, this or that? And that's a good uh -huh. situation. I actually have a question in the chat. Which one would you rather do, uh, try to go for that game-winning three in front of a massive arena or 44K viewers and you're playing uh, Fortnite, trying to get a win, you know, flex too. Let's see what oh, chat right. says. Yeah, I want to see, see what, what they, they think because you've done both. You're, you, not many people can say that. <laughs> Uh, that's I, I I actually I mentioned this earlier, but when I was on this panel talking about the modern day two sport athlete, like, there's some guys that have crossed over just because of the quarantine. Some are gonna stay, some won't. I'm here to stay. I can assure you. Mm -hmm. uh, give me the 44k. I can close. <laughs> <laughs> I, will, I will take the game winning three and enjoy the money I'm getting paid to do it. That's a fair assessment. Um, I, I really I, I love both, uh, but. It's, it's more that I'm, I mean, I, I'm a professional at basketball. I'm mm -hmm. not a professional at gaming. So it was, it was pretty nerve wracking having to tap into a different skill set in front of almost double what an NBA arena would be. Yeah. And especially great. when you think about it that way, right? Cause you know, the, tri the triple a can fit so many people, but then you think about Twitch streams and the amount of people can watch an individual person or an individual stream. 
Um, I just think about those uh, competitive esports events like uh, with Counter Strike and Call of Duty, and when you you see like a large group of people coming in to watch them, it's like if this was an actual arena, it would be filled twice over or three times over. And exactly, it's crazy. Yes, it is insane. It is really insane. So you've been uh, interacting with the gaming community a lot. What have been mm-hmm. your favorite parts about that? Jumping over from you know sports, professional sports to gaming. Sure. Okay. So let's see. How do I start? Uh, I knew I wanted to jump into this space after I was at a National Basketball Player Association uh, career summit. Uh, I went to a tech panel, and one of the people up there was up there to talk about Twitch, and this was when Ninja was blowing up and everything like that. And so I'm like, okay, streaming sounds fun. You know, I, I feel like I'm fairly entertaining, and I love gaming, so why not? So I started to get my setup put together, and um, right during that time as well, um, Turner was still with FaZe, and I, I had watched Turner a ton, so I wore a FaZe jersey into an arena. Mm-hmm. And I, I tagged them, and all of a sudden their CFO reached out. So then, boom, <laughs> all of a sudden I'll be, I, I invest, and all of a sudden I'm a part of FaZe, and I've done a, a few events with them. Like, they're on top of the world. It's insane how powerful they are. And it's been fun, man. Like, for example, Gold Glove, huge Portland Trailblazer fan. I was there for the first seven years of my career. Mm-hmm. This is the only the first time I've been traded. And obviously now I'm down here in Miami. But to to collaborate with a guy like Gold Glove, uh, who is actually on my team for tonight's trio, um, it's just like, damn, that's cool. Like, he loved me as a basketball player. But now I'm jumping over to a space where he was an OG in this, in this space. Like, mm-hmm. he was – he told me – a couple streams ago something about like the frame rate that he was playing on and and like how uh, how far twitch has come so it's it's been really really cool uh to you know i did the fortnite pro-am let's see what else i mean again the 24 hour was crazy and just seeing how how um if if they can tell that you're genuine how much the gaming community will embrace you i think that's the biggest thing that's that, very true I, I think that people will see like what is not don't take take this uh true to heart but it's more like who is this athlete who thinks he can just come in and kind of whatever steal viewership or try to make a quick buck and leave that's not me i do it my, i've streamed i'll be honest i'm an nba player and i've streamed for like 23 people before no issue i love that there were 23 people there and i hope i entertain the heck out of them you know so it's very very um real for me that's just that's the easiest way to put it it is a true true passion that's great and you're transitioning over i mean now given what's happening in the world right now it's now that you're using that experience and now taking it to another level uh with these tournaments that you put together Mm -hmm. and i think it's fantastic um thank you can't wait to see what's going on uh tonight and hopefully a lot of people you got front page of twitch you got a bunch of people on board yeah uh active in the community from like all these different like avenues bringing them together uh... it's just like mind-blowing let's see we got we got uh i don't know how familiar you are with music and all this but we got party next door um we have gold glove phase dirty phase thieves uh phase blue uh testament uh a few football players uh tariq cohen um kurt ben kurt who's who's a very good um uh, call of duty player mm-hmm. uh some nba guys brandon goodwin who's very good at call of duty myself josh hart uh, Michael Bridges, Mario Hazonia, amongst many other pros. <laughs> this Dang. is like a who's who. I had just like one, any one of you could just like host your own stream and get so many, but now it's all of you together and this yeah, massive stream. Uh, <sighs> we got Den Cops and uh, Octane, uh, and it's it's just gonna be crazy, man. I, I'm so excited and I'm so thankful that uh, it's come together pretty smoothly. I think I have a good feeling about you guys. I think you guys are knocking out today. My man. <laughs> like PJ's right, currently so where we, uh, in the build. Yeah, let's uh, let's see where are we at currently. So he's mounting the motherboard right now. He's doing some wiring, uh, getting the cables uh, routed. Um, Can you tell please that I'm jealous of his beard? Hold on, let me yell at him because, hold on. Okay. He's laughing. <laughs> yeah. But he's jealous of my beard. Yeah, I've had this thing. I've been growing it since the beginning of the year. I yeah. shaved it off completely in uh, January 1st, and I haven't touched it since. Nice. Here and there. That's about it. There you go. 
I know I myself have been growing it out too since uh, the start of you know staying at home. So just making sure it looks clean, right? Because the problem is when you grow out a beard and it looks really scruffy. It's like no, you have to tame it. PJ's is very uh -huh. nice and tame. He's growing it out, I but agree. he's taming it. Uh huh. Uh huh. If you have any questions for me regarding the PC belt, I'll be more than happy to answer. I've, I'm a cornucopia of PC knowledge. If I don't know it, I'll tell you straight up. I don't know this, but I'll do the research and figure it out for you. You're saying on my end or for the chat? Uh, for both of you, chat and uh, you. Gotcha. I, I'm excited to see these little uh, hidden uh, uh, artistic pieces of sorts, honestly. And I, this stuff fascinates me, man. Like I said, I, I, I'm learning continuously in this space. Uh, so it, I'm, I'm literally just sitting here staring at my screen as he continues to put this PC together. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm is... a little kid watching like <laughs> Lion King or something. <laughs> Especially if you know what's what's going on, because for a lot of people that aren't unfamiliar with PC building, they're just like, oh, it's you know just hardware technology. But it, when you realize when you put it all together, what you can get out of it, that's the special part. Because a lot of people are familiar with the fact that consoles are you know, mass manufactured. Um, you can just buy them in the store, but these PCs that we make at Origin are completely different. You know, you select the parts, it's hand built, it's tested in like independently, and there's actual people like in the process that help put it together. Right. Um, so I yeah, think that's it's that's what cool. that's what makes it a more special process, in my opinion. Uh, the fact that you guys, you know, will continuously take care of your customers. Um, you can answer any questions. You're, again, you, it's hands on. You're the ones building it. It's not some like we, you know, we slap together 25 PCs and then just sell them and, and move on. It's like, okay, it's more um, intimate, I guess, is, is a decent word for you guys to, to care about your customers. So I, I think that's really awesome. Let me answer this question really quick from the chat. What are the issues you see with AM, or AMD versus Intel compatibility wise? Right now in the current space, I'd say both are pretty solid. Um, in terms of compatibility, AMD has an edge with the Gen 4 speeds, or PCIe Gen 4, which this build has, by the way. We're talking about the SSD speeds, so that's the, one of the biggest things that AMD has over Intel uh, systems. Uh, like, I'm going to make a quick jump over to my browser and show everyone what I am talking about. Let me make sure we're good. All right, well, cool. So on C8's website, it explains that the FireCuda 510 collaborates perfectly with uh, the third gen AMD Ryzen CPU, which in this case we're building with an AMD Ryzen 9 3900X. So you're gonna unlock the true PCIe Gen 4 speeds, which is even greater than the speeds on the box. And that's only possible with AMD and uh, this SSD. So that's one uh, compatibility thing that Intel doesn't have yet. So pretty cool stuff. Let me jump back. Hopefully that answers your question. I mean, I, hopefully that's the compatibility compatibility you were talking about. You might have been talking about something else, but hopefully I answered that. Let's see. Two, two, two. A dual twenty eight. Yeah, yeah. Someone in chat mentioned it. Right now, SLI um, dual GPUs right now isn't a big deal for developers and software. One GPU is pretty much a solid way to go compared to a couple years ago. Thanks, Windows. <laughs> um, yeah, because a couple years ago, you would fr actually, if you find on our website that we'd have PC builds with like four GPUs because SLI was like a big deal back then, but nowadays a single GPU is perfectly fine. Some people well, might get that extra, you know, they want that extra two or three frames from SLI, but it makes more sense to just go with single. And again, support is the biggest thing with that. If some games might support it, like Apex Legends supports SLI, but for example, Call of Duty, I don't think Call of Duty supports SLI. That's like a case-by-case -case basis, and that's not something, at least me personally, I wouldn't go for dual, personally. Some people do, so other people don't. Question for you. Yeah. Uh, for, uh, so let's start with like a uh, the, the, the smaller PCs that you guys have. How long would that take versus a Millennium? So a build like mine, for example, is this going to be, it's got to be the more extended version of a build. Is Would that be a fair assessment? It depends because uh, the, the smaller case, specifically the Kronos, is a, a ultra compact build. So that requires a little bit more work to, and finesse to 
get all the parts together, make sure they fit correctly, and the airflow is solid there. These um, oh, Millennium okay. and Neuron are standard PC builds. So th these are the ones you typically find anywhere, basically. It's just those ultra-small cases are really specialized and not something... Oh, anyone can easily so it's build. opposite of my, what my brain was telling me. Yep. Because it's more small and precise, it's going to take more time, and, and you got to be a little more careful. -ish. Oh, definitely careful. Let me do a quick. Uh, I'm going to show our, our site so you can see you can see what I'm. Yeah, um, that would be great. Mentioning. So this is our site. Uh, we have the Cronus here. This is the one I'm specifically talking about. This is a very like unique case in the fact that it's ultra compact. Ah yes, teamwork. Thank you for the sub. Uh, so, oh, I think that might be uh, on my end. Hold on. It's it's still probably all catching up. Oh, no, I see even. Oh, I see even just subbed normally. Thank you, I see even. Um, here's the Kronos we were talking about. This is the super compact one. And for yep. someone to do this, they'd have to have extensive knowledge of how the case works, the airflow, and what part needs to go where. Um, you'd probably need a guide on how to ah, properly yes, put this together. Teamwork. AKA so. someone like PJ. Yeah, correct. And then uh, <laughs> our guys over in the, the back who... Uh, Put these together. I'm oh, sorry for the little weird transition there. Um, the Neuron, so, Millennium, and Genesis are all like standard PC designs. It's just the size is different. So tell me, how long would a Chronos take versus a Millennium? I guess your mileage may vary. Um, Millenniums are easier to build for, I guess, a regular person. For our team, they are they're familiar with all of the systems. So the speed wise. It depends on the builder themselves. I can't, it's hard to estimate, but to like put the build together, if we have all the parts, it should take less than a day, probably a couple hours. Um, yeah. PJ can knock him out. You know, Cronus is pretty quickly, but that's because he's experienced with the Cronus. I can kill the Cronus in 45 minutes. Yeah, so PJ is good enough that he can knock out a Cronus in 45 minutes. Millennium can take two hours because it's a larger system. But again, it depends on wow. the builder and the okay. amount of you parts inside. Make, you can get the build done much faster with you know, so. You can, I can zip tie the cables to the back, two seconds, and be done. But if you're really looking for, you know, a gear at Origin, we don't do that. So, we don't Boom. Do that. <laughs> tell them, PJ, tell them this is, this is intricate stuff here, ladies and gentlemen, okay? <laughs> this is fully customizable, and you're getting the best experience and the best builder, period. Thank you. Thanks right. for that shout-out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Origin PC CEO in the house, who is a massive Heat fan. He, I think there he's he been is. to. Yeah, there he is. He's in chat. Uh huh. Hey Kevin, there how's it go. going? We got Myers on in the stream, chattering it's it up. Intricate stuff here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yes, tell him, PJ. Sorry, I got a delay. I'm listening to him on Facebook. If <laughs> yeah, he's on delay, but he's 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 hearing the conversation. Uh, Miss Nikita, what would you like to see in the next gen of NVIDIA GPUs? Me personally, um, improved race tracing performance would be huge, and I think that's probably where it's going to go. But of course, overall performance would be nice too. Um, and competitive price points. I'm, I think seeing the price points of NVIDIA's GPUs and AMDs in the future is going to be really interesting to watch. Because um, I know people have been, you know clamoring and saying like oh the prices are getting a little higher compared to historical prices and yeah but retracing is such a new technology that they're gonna th that's what justified the premium so we'll see I, my prediction is that uh third gen or uh, not third gen 3000 series all right is coming out this year but again that's completely unjustified and just my own prediction based on history and data so Catching up with the chats. Have you seen the leaks? Yeah, I've seen the leaks. It's just a matter of time at this point, but maybe my prediction might be 100 might be right. We'll see. Do you get to request builders for your machines? Unfortunately, no. Um, it's you know it's a matter of just getting in the in the queue because then if that did happen it'd be like at a barber shop right because sometimes the barber shops that have like the hit barber the one that everyone wants but then that barber barber has a queue of like oh you have to come back in like three weeks That's a perfect analogy. <laughs> um so it's just a matter of you know who gets it but all of them are solid so seagate makes pcs now no 
but they do make awesome SSDs, which we were talking about earlier, the Firecuda 510 SSD, NVMe SSD, which is already in the system and takes advantage of that Ryzen performance boost. So. I kind of look good in that picture, not gonna lie. <laughs> That's your Twitter picture. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, <laughs> honestly, you got thanks because at least I'm not, you know, some slobber. <laughs> I always just, <laughs> like the Twitter pictures, everyone on, like uh, uh, jumps in to the live builds. They're usually pretty solid. So I'm like, perfect. Twitter's fine. Because if you're fine with a Twitter picture, you're probably fine with it used on stream, typically. True facts. True facts. Uh, what does uh, the worldwide button mean? So it's, a, it's an old joke we had on our sound where we hit the button and it would do like, oh, we ship worldwide. And it, it's a, like a joke like that. It's almost uh, a play I on uh, Pitbull's uh, worldwide or worldwide uh -huh. thing there. Love so, it. But we do ship worldwide. You can see the country list of when you order a PC. It'll say, or there's a little flag. You click on the flag and it'll show you the country list. Wow, so. that's actually really cool. <laughs> Writing crap voids. PJ would be very busy if people requested a builder. <laughs> it's true though. Like like I was talking about the barbershop analogies. There would be specific things. The problem is because of the streams. Uh, we only have a handful of builders that go on the streams, uh, go on the streams. So people would probably request the people on the streams because they've seen them build. So they are like, "Oh, I want PJ to build my system." Um, but PJ's got other stuff to do that's not just uh, watching the or building stuff on stream. Come on, chat. PJ's busy now. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Yeah, there's a funny story. So a long, long time ago, when we originally started doing live builds on uh, streams, uh, uh, Kuzi, a uh, former host of the streams, he would he initially made this claim saying like, hey, since you guys like the live builds so much, uh, we'll be more than happy to build it on stream for you. The problem with that, though, is the demand got so ridiculously high that if we still kept building systems for people on stream, it would have taken... We'd still be building those systems from like, five years ago or four years ago just because of the amount of time it would take to do that so we stopped that <laughs> and we just do the builds every so often so uh room that's a tricky question to answer because we work with so many people that's so kind of hard to say, like what's my favorite it's tricky but if you go on originpc.com and you look through the configured you'll see which um, parts we include in our systems Do you ship worldwide? I mean, yeah, so the um, imports and customs does impact the shipping price. The shipping price, I will warn you, it does vary per country. That's only fair. I mean, you can yeah. set a massive PC. Yeah, it's a giant box, too. Great. Miles, you know? Yeah. But if they want the best of the best and they want to be taken care of, they come to Origin PC. Yep. Uh, Mesa, what is the correct way to install a hard drive in the hot swap way? Well, you take out the, the tray, and then there should be mounting points, if I'm correct, on the build. Um, I can ask PJ to, to, yeah, to properly install. On a 5A hot swap? Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming, th yeah, that's the thing. It depends on which hot swap bay you got. It's either the... I have a lockable one and an unlock and a non-lockable one. The one that's on uh, Myers Linux system is a lockable one, so there's no tray. You just slide the drive right into it, and you lock it in place. Yeah. Unlockable Yeah, you can put it on. Um, the actual... Hold on, sorry. PJ's about to get on the line. All right. Um, the actual, like, the... Like, oh, I can go back. The lockable one types, like this one in particular we have in the system, if you see it, there's no tray you need to put it in. All I did was just slide the drive right Yeah, it varies. It. So, let me drag this sucker right over. So you can see it. So that's the lockable hotspot, So this is babe. the lockable one. This one in particular, just slide it right in. It has rails on the inside, so I just push it in and I lock it up. And you can put a 2.5 in that too, can you? Yeah, there's yeah. a reducer that I just recently saw that you can actually put a reducer and you can put SSDs inside the 5-bay hot swap. Yeah, and then what about the non-lockable one? The, the non-lockable one is an actual tray, so yeah. that one you would need to put to mount the screws on the actual uh, the drive onto the tray, and then that one would slide in. Correct. I don't think I have one in here. If I did, I would show you. Yeah, and you'd have to open up the side panel to access that too, and you'd have to do the wiring as well for that oh, to look. work. So look, I got a tray. I don't have the actual 5-bay hot swap. Look, here's one with a tray. Yeah. 
So this is, you would actually put the drive into it like this, and then you would screw it down on the back. Yeah. Hopefully that answers your question. Um, but uh, Mesa, by any or any moment, you can always contact the support team too. Uh, Ms. Katine, can you incorporate custom water cooling in your builds if a customer asks for it? We can actually do that by custom customizing on the site. I'll do a quick jump over here and show you quickly here, because I know people always ask, like, oh, can I do uh, custom liquid cooling? And yes, you can. That's one of our... Heck yes. It's a very popular option for people, because it's not exactly... There's not too many places in the world that let you do that as an order. It's that custom flare. All right, give me a second. I'm going to jump over. So right here, using the Millennium as an example, but other cases do support uh, custom liquid cooling. We use Corsair Hydro X liquid cooling, and you can select uh, which option you'd like, including hard line and soft tube. If it's soft tube, it won't say hard, but if it's a hard uh, line, it'll say it on the, the name. If you want to learn more information, you click on learn more, and it'll give you a whole spiel about what you get with your uh, cooling kit. And if you want to liquid cool the GPU, you have to select the liquid cooling system. And then during at the GPU section, you select the liquid cooled GPU instead of the air cooled ones, or the not question. air cooled. <laughs> What's up? What is the um, uh, assuming that you take care of it and you know across the board for all of your PCs? What would the average lifespan be? I mean, as, as long as uh, th that's the thing, right? It's, PCs can last a very long time. It's just a matter of is the hardware meeting your standards. Um, okay. That's really Fair the enough. question that comes down to because I have computer hardware I've had since 2014, still works. Wow. And okay. I have it doing other things now. It, like I've retired it, but I can I have it doing other things. I can I call that uh -huh. my travel PC. Got it. Okay. But my main PC is like newer hardware, and now I can run games you know at 4K resolution if I wanted to. Um, Dude, awesome. And it's I built it myself, so I'm like I'm pretty happy with it. Okay. Uh, but the other parts i'm like these are really good parts still they work i can if i wanted to play games on it like modern games like it still works if i want to play call of duty totally works fine um gotcha. what uh what are your top three games of all time ready go oh all time that's a tough one um i can do it by game of the year so i'll cheat i'll, I'll do game of the year okay, okay so that's fine. last year my game of the year was control it's a single player game where you play as a uh, person who enters is like it's kind of like the x-files meets um resident evil almost okay it's very weird very uh psychological but very artsy as well it's like an indie movie in a, in a game but that was my favorite game from last year this year doom eternal has been everything and then some i i just okay. can't stop raving about doom eternal and then if, for those of you that watch the stream you already know my third answer it's quake i'm a big big uh quake player I can't stop talking about it. People in the office make jokes about it. I totally roll with the punches, and Quake's my thing. It's not as popular as it used to be. Quake, um, it's like back in the day, Quake was like the big deal, but now it's, you know, it doesn't have the audiences like Call of Duty or Fortnite or Counter Strike, but okay. it's, it has a special place in my heart for its gameplay. It's just that intensity. Um, have you seen, do you know Quake, Myers? I can't say that I do, uh, surprisingly. Normally, I have a fairly decent um, understanding of most games. Mm -hmm. uh, but what style? Is is it a shooter? Or what? It's a shooter. It's a fast-paced arena shooter. So everything takes place in arena. There's no, like, large map where you have to, like, traverse and, uh, like, posi I mean, positioning is still important in Quake. Sure. But it's definitely about speed, positioning, memorization, and then timing. Uh, Quake Esports is very high level. And you see stuff on Quake Esports, it's just like, if you're familiar, again, if you're familiar with Quake, you'd be like, whoa, this is crazy. Um, I mean, not to say that other esports are also, you know, entertaining too. It's always cool to see, you know, high level uh, Fortnite, CSGO, and uh, Call of Duty plays. But it's just for me personally, Quake is just like, like, how do you move that fast, have good aim, and have timing so perfect and you maneuver? It, it's insane. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Well, it's very skill based, it sounds like. Yeah. You know, that's probably what intrigues you the most, I would think, right? Yeah. Okay. It, it's fun to watch and it's fun to play. 
And again, it's not as popular as it used to be because it is a very, it's not an easy game to get into. I keep, I always, uh, I jump on stream, I keep promoting quick, but it's just, it's a hard game to get into and it's not easy to pick up and play. Like, I can't just tell like, hey, we're going to play some quick today. And it's like it, the majority of new players will get destroyed. And that's just because people have so many years of experience playing quick that you're jumping straight into the fire. It's kind of like a fighting okay. game. I, I compare it to a fighting game sometimes because like Street Fighter and all those other games. People have years of experience, so they're familiar with the mechanics. So it's not exactly something you can easily jump into. You have to train and work your way up. I so. see. Fair enough. I mean, that was like people trying to jump into Fortnite, right? Yeah, correct. You, like, if you didn't know how to build and you were five months late, it was a wrap. You're just going to get smoked. Yep. Like, Got myself, it. I had to learn how to build, too, because when, when Fortnite Battle Royale started, I'm like, I don't need to build. And then you realize you kind of need to build. <laughs> you, I, I was the same way. I'm like, oh. I'll make the crossover from Call of Duty, and I'll just be able to laser people. No, not a mm -hmm. chance. But the game not has changed chance. so much now. I feel like I stopped playing Fortnite, I want to say, last year or so. Last year or 2018. Mm -hmm. um, but the game has changed so much. I feel like if I jumped, I'd be like, I don't know what's going on anymore. I know the mechanics and, you know, picking up items and managing and uh -huh. shielding and building in general but it's just like there's so much new stuff the islands changed i didn't even play chapter two yet so i'm just like i don't know what's going on oh yeah it's insane how much it's changed i played with phase replays for about two hours during my 24 hour and it was like well i'm now reminded why i've always loved call of duty <laughs> see that's real. how i feel like quick when i play another game I'm like oh this is gonna go back to quick <laughs> mm -hmm. like you have your go-to's and everyone has their own personal go-to's so Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Especially when you play other games, you're like, oh, I'd rather be playing this thing. Like, even if I lose in quick, I still feel pretty good about the matches because I know that, you know, it was an even match and just the other team was better. But sometimes when you play other games, you're just like, oh, I, you know, this isn't good enough or doesn't meet my standards. Okay. So, Fair enough. I think chat. Hold on, let me refresh the chats because I feel like I don't know if you guys are there. Are you guys there? Chat? I'm here talking about my quick spiel and everyone stopped. <laughs> I was like, oh, there he goes again, talking about Quake again. No, everyone's there. <laughs> See, yeah, even, even PJ makes a joke about it. All right, chat's there. So, Myers, what was your first PC game? Ooh, uh, Fortnite. Fortnite. I, this so, is Fortnite. Yeah, so I made uh, yeah I made the switch from uh, Xbox to PC because of building essentially and just the smoothness of the game. Uh, and again, I just wanted to get better uh, and play against better players, so that's that's why I did that. And then just on Call of Duty, it's same thing. Like I just it's so much more efficient, and I just like running everything uh, through a PC now. It just I'm I, like we both said, we're never turning back. Like there's no chance. Mm -hmm. And I know the new consoles are coming out, you know, pretty soon, and they're gonna have, you know, unique games, unique experiences. But even then, I'm just like, no, I'm gonna hold on to my PC, and I always will. Um, and I said it before on stream that a modern PC with the highest end hardware will always be better than a console. And of course, people are gonna be like, oh, the price difference is there. And it's like, yeah, you're right, you're right. But it's just, you know, it's not gonna compare. It's not gonna compare. Uh, random question. Yeah, what's up? Would it be uh, Bolaños? Yes, that's correct. Beautiful. Beautiful. I was actually a really good Spanish student in uh, high school, but unfortunately it's since uh, dropped a bit just because I haven't had to speak or write or do anything since. Yeah, I mean, I was going to say, since you're at the Heat Games, I'm sure there's a lot of uh, – I know the Spanish fan base, massive – You've probably learned uh, that. <laughs> massive Spanish influence in Miami. It yep. is. It, honestly, it's awesome. You know, I yep. was in Portland, which has its own demographic and everything. And I come from a small town in Illinois. And then, boom, now all of a sudden I'm in Miami, which is like, okay, then. I'll never forget. I came here last summer and I didn't have a car yet. I was training with the team, uh, just some off season stuff. And I probably took five Ubers until I got a rental car. Every time I got in, they were cuban or i was like okay all right well uh welcome to miami myers yep well, I, I i know exactly what you're talking about <laughs> huh so that was a that was a nice little um welcome to the 305 how do you like the city 
I like it a lot, man. I, I, I will say this. I'm a homebody, so going out, and literally going out like to bars, not really a thing for me unless I'm hanging with my teammates occasionally. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm married. You know, I, I pretty much stay at the house, play video games, hang with my wife and dog, work out hard as hell, and play in the NBA. <laughs> so uh, it's the one thing, though, is I, I was in Oregon, which is gloomy all day, every day until the summer. Which So basically you get – Three and a half, if you're lucky, four months of sun, and then mm -hmm. everything else is just straight rain. So the fact that the sun is out like every day pretty much is incredible. Yep. So that's the one blessing for sure in this situation. And, and I love the team. That's great. I know oh, it's yeah. this year's weird. I mean, all of uh, us, to say all the least. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, we could jump into it a little bit. Um, you know, obviously, everyone's watching. Uh, to see a PC be built, but I'm sure they don't mind hearing about, you know, what's going on behind the scenes. Um, you know, we we got the same information everyone else did, but maybe just a little earlier. Mm -hmm. You know, I remember thinking like, dang, what's what's really going to happen? And then you see like, boom, the Masters is canceled. Like, yep. even if you're not a golf fan, you know what the Masters is. Yeah. You know, the NCAA tournament and then the NBA and just you just kept going. So um, we were actually in a game. I, I, I unfortunately hurt my ankle, so I was on the sideline, but I remember hearing it. I'm like, wait, that's got to be a joke. And sure enough, we go in the locker room. And they're like, no, no, the, there's going to be an official announcement. And so th it's been pretty crazy, to be honest. Like, mm -hmm. I habitually, all of us really are just so used to waking up and like this competitive edge and going to the arena yep. for practice or a shoot around or a game. And now it's like, uh, well, you can't come here. You can't go anywhere. Stay at your house. Try your best to stay in shape. And we'll figure it out later. And I'm just like, wow, okay then. That's so, such a massive shift too, right? Because you said to yourself, you're, you're always in that habit, right? Because you're, you're in the season, your focus is there, you, you want to you know, win your games, and then all mm -hmm. of a sudden everything stops. Oh, man, it's insane. You know, I, I used to have, it's not on there anymore, on my social profiles, uh, basketball is what I do, it's not who I am. Mm -hmm. And that just simply means I'm more than that. I'm a husband, I'm a gamer, I, you know, I'm, I'm, a, you know, I'm a lover of all people, you know, I, whatever. Um, and so... I, I don't know, it's it, but it is crazy still at the same time. Like, to my core, I'm a competitive person, and I, I love my job, you know, it's, and now all of a sudden it's just been put on a complete standstill. So it's been a interesting thing, but I uh, luckily I sat down with my wife the next day, and we said, uh-uh, no way in heck are we sitting around doing nothing. Let's impact people. Let's advance ourselves. So that's what we've done. And I still continue to think that's fantastic. I think I've been saying that, like, all the time during the stream, but – uh congratulations to you guys for putting all that stuff together and rocking it yeah thanks uh, man it um yeah 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 for sure thank you it's been a lot of busy work like emails and phone calls and i'm again i'm seriously more busy than i am during the nba season doing all of this uh fundraising i feel it's a good uh start though right because i mean you know once all this is over because it will end um mm -hmm. you still got that going on as well on the side absolutely absolutely it's it's um you know i've always wanted to be well-rounded and not just so wrapped up in my career which again i'm obsessed with the game of basketball don't get me wrong but um it is good to understand like this will come to an end this you know it, it, father time is undefeated so to speak and so when you start to build your brand outside of basketball it just helps you immensely whenever you decide to be done playing yep yep so it's been cool to like I, we talked about earlier to build a community in this space because um, I guess this is a little bit of confidence oozing out, but I do feel as though I can entertain people. And I, and for an athlete, especially, I feel like I'm a pretty darn good um, first person shooter player. So it's, it's been fun. It's been fun. Actually, that reminds me of an interesting question. Um, we've mm -hmm. worked with the uh, mighty mouse, Demetrius Johnson, and mm -hmm. he told us a long time ago, um, and he still maintains his, when he does his streams, he tries to keep the sports out of it because, you know, he does fighting. So he keeps mm -hmm. it out of it. Uh, how do you do that with your streams? Do you try to do that as well or do you embrace uh, the sports angle too? Yeah. So, uh, for example, when I first got traded um, to Miami, that's all anybody wanted to ask me about. And I got it. Yeah. So we just made a command in the chat and my mods obviously are in there for a reason and they do a good job of understanding my personality and what I what I want the flow of the chat to be and whatnot and I'll say look you know either my mods will, will just hit the command and it'll explain like look Myers loved his time in Portland he really enjoys everything right now in Miami and you know something about let's just you know 
let's not talk about basketball. And people yeah. constantly want to know, well, do you play 2K? Yeah. I've literally played maybe five or less 2K games in my <laughs> life. I literally love Call of Duty and, you know, other other games, but no basketball games. Because I play basketball for a living. It's the last yeah. thing I want to do. <laughs> That's such a good quote. And, it, I mean, I guess, like, do, do you want to play as yourself in a video game? Some people do, yeah. but then other players are like, no, I don't want to. <laughs> like, you know, football yeah, players with Madden that's or. That's weird for me. It's like, uh, oh, no thanks. Like, it's cool, uh, but not for me. Yeah, exactly. And so, you know, um, it's, it's, I, I said it earlier, but people know that they can come in there and just have a real person. It's honestly more like, hey, Mars, how are you? Or, hey, Mars, I've struggled. Uh, you know, I don't mind saying this. It, it, it's been written about plenty. Mm -hmm. You know, I've, I've talked op openly about the fact that during my fifth NBA season, I was depressed mm -hmm. uh, and I and I had anxiety. And so I've had such an amazing uh, response and people that just say, Myers, honestly, thank you. You're an NBA player, but you're just a normal guy who can relate to others and, and help me, quote unquote, through this time. So thank you. So those are the moments that that mean something to me. You know, it's nice to hit a, knife, a nice snipe or whatever. But the moment the moment I know I've impacted somebody, that's why I do it. I do I, – I play in the NBA, and I've had a beautiful platform because of it. Mm -hmm. And now I stream, and it's helped me impact people. That That's the ultimate goal, so. That's great. Oh, man, I'm just like – my, my heart, I'm like, oh, man, that's so good. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just it, – it's real. You know, I'm not trying to pull at anybody's heartstrings, but that's just who I am. Mm -hmm. So – Oh yeah, uh, where we, so we'll, let's talk PC here. What are we looking at? What are we doing currently? All right, I got PC you. I got you. So right now, uh, he's mounting the CPU cooling unit onto the CPU. Let me adjust the camera there so people can see. It's tricky because he has to like really, you know, get in there to make sure everything's mounted. So earlier he was mounting the fans on top of the radiator, uh -huh. uh, which is are you? Uh, are you familiar with liquid cooling in PCs? Uh, yes. Okay. So you, do you understand the radiator, why there's a radiator and how like cool liquid goes in and then the hot liquid goes out? I mean, it makes sense. You had a cooler it's, it's kind of like a car almost because you know how cars have um, the radiators? Sure, of course. Where the, the liquid cools the system. Yeah. Similar concept, except it's really, really small compared to a car. Okay. Um. It's just it's a uh, it's become very popular nowadays. A couple years ago, you like uh, all in one liquid cooling unit. Just I'm like, nah, I wouldn't do that. It's too risky. But now it's so easy to just purchase one and install it yourself. So interesting. Okay. All right. And it makes it look nice too, because I like my heat sinks. We were talking about that earlier of uh, heat sinks versus all in one cooling units. Because uh -huh. um, have you seen PC heat, heat sinks or? No. Uh, let me pull it up on my uh, PC here. I don't think... Does yours have it? I'm trying to remember. I don't know if you have an all-in-one or a heat sink. I am not sure. Let me pull up a Corsair's website so everyone can see. Okay. Uh, all right. Fair enough. Might as well make this all uh, a full deal here, huh? <laughs> all right. Let's see. Cause I've got to give the people what they want. Just to show the difference of like the appearance. And the thing is... All in one cooling and heat sinks have their own fans. Like people are very adamant about both, right? People love uh -huh. heat sinks because they're reliable, there's no liquid involved, and they last a really long time. Uh liquid cooling units offer incredible performance. Um they do have a lifespan, they're pretty long, but they're overall pretty solid uh components and they also don't take up that much space in your system and reduce the weight. Let me jump over to uh Corsair's websites to demonstrate. Beautiful. This is Corsair's site. Uh, they introduced a CPU cooler. I call it the heatsink. It's a giant block. It's a giant block of uh, with copper heat pipes, and then of course your your metal plates there to where heat dissipates basically. So your CPU generates a ton of heat, right? Sure. Um, and it goes out via the copper pipes, and then the fans cool it, and that way your CPU stays cool. Uh -huh. Meanwhile with a liquid cooling system. This isn't the one we're using for this build. I think if I scroll through, I can find the exact one, but it's, a, it's like a similar cousin. Um, with this, it's just this little tiny little uh, block, and then the liquid, you know, cool liquid goes in, hot liquid mm -hmm. goes out, and then the fans cool the radiator, which is where the liquid goes in, you know, the temperature changes there. Sure, okay, 
Got it. So it's cool stuff. It, like again, modern PC. Like a couple years ago, this didn't exist. I mean, I guess a couple, like a, a really a couple, like, several years ago, this didn't exist, and now it's a thing. And it's easy for a builder or for someone to order a system that has that. It's cool stuff. For I'm, sure. It's it's honestly it's, sorry. It's honestly amazing how uh, intricate and how specific you can get from just about every component, uh, from literally the case to the cooling to uh, the speed to the uh, the storage. I mean, it's just freaking crazy, man. Like every step along the way, you're like, well, what do I want to do here? Oh, what do I want to do here? Yeah, and I guess working at Origin, we're usually at the, the cutting edge with hardware. So every anytime new hardware is released, anytime, whether it's NVIDIA, AMD, Intel, whoever, we're always there, you know, day one or, you know, a couple days after. We're always there. So people awesome. know that we're always the top of the top. And that's where, if you want the top of the top, you usually come to Origin. And there you go. There you have it. Another just beautiful <laughs> cell there. I mean. <laughs> I, I, there has to be at least a few people lined up ready to just get a fully customized PC after this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got we got a couple. We got a couple. I, uh, did you see our ludicrous PC, Myers, or no? Nah? I did not. Do you oh, have uh, a graphic asset for that? Oh, uh, no. I'm about to blow your mind. This is a project. This is one of PJ's projects. PJ built what I'm about to show you guys, and also the chat if you guys missed it. Okay. This is the ludicrous PC. <laughs> A custom gaming PC inspired by a Tesla Model S. Oh, oh yes, yes. Yeah. I didn't know. I, Ludacris, I literally thought you were talking about the rapper. No. <laughs> yes, I saw this yesterday. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, yeah, so we actually introduced this. Um, we sent it over to uh, MKBHD, um, you know, big uh, tech YouTuber. He talks a lot about smartphones and tech and uh, cool gadgets. So we sent this over to him, and uh, he did a video. He got, the video is actually on the site. Um it's quite a piece of hardware. It's not a traditional PC system. It's not because you remember we were talking about cases earlier. This is mm -hmm. by this is a, a unique exotic <laughs> build uh, by all accounts. It is definitely up there. Um, it's not for everyone. I'll, I'm being super transparent. It really truly is not for everyone. But for the that one person that's craving a PC inside a Tesla that can be driven by kids, it's there. It's there for you. How uh, expensive is this? Um, you can actually buy it. So one thing that we did with the, the Ludacris PC is you can actually buy it. Because normally when we do builds like this, like the really crazy builds, you can't mm -hmm. buy them. Um, but with the Ludacris PC, you know, we, we pulled some stuff together, and you can actually buy it. So the starting at price, which brings a lot of stuff to already, uh, starts at uh, 13.3K. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> okay then, but uh, like I was saying are earlier, are we allowed to say what my price range is or no? Everyone has their no, own personal price ahead. price ranges. I mean, I have my own personal ones. Like for me, I probably prefer the Mustang one, but no, no, no. I'm saying, what uh, what is my PC? Oh, yours total cost. Yeah. Oh, compared to this, uh, I think again estimation based on the components. I'm going to say about. Is this allowed? No, I, I can still I can estimate it. So I'm going to okay. estimate around uh, 4,800. Got it. Yeah. Again, that's my estimation. And the reason it's a little bit higher than normal is because of the customization options we added, too. Fair enough. So uh, Full transparency. Uh, I have a restroom that is like 15 feet from my streaming desk. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to go use it, and oh. I will be right back. Yeah, no problem. Okay. All right. He's muted. Yeah, that's a ludicrous PC, friends. And again... If for me, I just get a regular PC, but it's there. It's there. I'm not gonna stop you. So let's see. Da, 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 da. Let me see the comments. <laughs> That's something Ludicrous would do. I like how he said Ludicrous, like the rapper. <laughs> oh man. Ugh. For those with unlimited disposable income, have had it. You're well, right, because people always when that happened with the Big O, where people would be like, "Oh, I want to buy it." I want to buy it. And, you know, eventually we, we, we brought the big O. It's not the same one, but it's still, you know, a big O where it comes with the console and the PC. So the ludicrous definitely leans into that, uh, like, philosophy. is like, you know what? Do you want it? It's there. <laughs> We're waiting. Um, and, of course, the cost associated with it. So it's, it's there. Connor, I was here yesterday. I was going to say thanks for giving me more viewers. I got other surprising. 
No problem. Uh, yeah, so not necessarily in chat, but again, Discord is uh, definitely for sure. Again, our Discord channel is definitely friendly to that stuff. Chats typically try to keep it down there, but uh, for sure, uh, Discord. Uh, watching. <laughs> hey, man. Oh, let me see the other camera angle. There, I'm gonna swap. Yeah, those mounts there definitely take some time, but it's very important because you don't want that to be loose either. So, I'm not sure how we're gonna deliver this. I don't know if we're gonna personally deliver it, have a delivery take care of it. So, I think I got the last six, seven, eight C case off the store. It's true, man. Corsair's, I mean, I know Corsair's working on their end, but. I guess now that, you know, what's happening right now, people are probably like, I want to build my own PC at home. So the cases there are gone. Uh, again, like I said earlier, we do offer cases on our site for those of you interested in a Corsair case. So you can check that out uh, different at with the different case levels. Let me briefly go over it for you guys. Let me jump over here, over there, over there, and over here. We're going to do it brief tour while PJ's mounting stuff. Ooh. So if you go to our neuron category on originpc.com, you'll see that we have the Corsair 175R, the 110Q, and the 220T. All these were just recently added. These are new additions to the neuron line. So if you're not interested in the neuron case, you know, our exclusive case, can't get anywhere else, but you do like the Corsair designs, we do offer them on our site. On the Millennium side, we offer the Corsair 500D and the Corsair 678C, which I saw someone mention they got the last one, so lucky. So if you do like those front bays in a little bit more compact form, the 678C definitely knocks that out. And finally, for the Genesis, we do have the 680X as an option. For those of you unfamiliar, it looks like the Big O's big brother, because it kind of is. Uh, the Big O uses the 2080X case, but the 680X is the, the larger case, and you can fit a lot in that of course liquid cooling is possible as well and speaking of that 2080x we just did this today you can actually order your own 2080x uh, built by origin pc which includes a i7 9700k with a 2070 super starting at 2199 dollars really solid option actually we also int introduced a ryzen build and an intel a neuron build. So again, all these systems on this page are ready to ship it uh, from one to three business or three days. I'm so used to saying business days. So there you go. All right, all right. Let me let me get back over here. Get get back in the action. Whoa. Myers is still taking a little brief break, but uh, we're glad to have him. And he is very busy in the current um, micro. Or, off season, you could it's not truly the off season, but you know what I'm talking about. So, what do we got here? I see some comments over here while I was going my spiel. Let's see, what we got do 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 do. Wonder what the average number of builds builder builds in a day one or two, depending on the level of customization. That seems, I mean, one or two might seem a little low for me. Again, I'm estimating I'm probably could be completely wrong, um, but it does depend on the level of customization the system has. If you're going with a fully Hydro X liquid cooled build, that's gonna take a long time. Uh, especially if during the day. Are you going to sanitize the PC? Every <laughs> so our shipping team, they've been very, very, very careful in making sure everything that we ship out is clean. So over here at Origin, we've applied a whole bunch of policies to make sure everything is safe. Um, the second I leave this room, I put on my mask. <laughs> so this room is only, you know, where I'm in isolation here at the office. So what I do for the streams, I, co I go in, I work from home, and I come back. So that's what happens. But we're taking it very seriously for preventing any sort of spread. I bring you moon, please. No, I don't want the moon. I want the sun. <laughs> I'm looking at uh, for Project Gundam, Pentax Eclipse. Ooh, that seems like an inter interesting uh, project blade. That seems for sure. If you're going to make it look like a Gundam, for sure. So, is that a case in soccer now? Nah. Let me check, because I know the thing is, like, 
right now there's stuff that just going in and out of stock i know i'm trying to help some friends get into vr and the oculus rift s is just out of stock so how hard is it to convert to a liquid cooling system a good question so that's gonna require a lot of wiring and then you need the tubes if, if you're gonna do it yourself that is a mission i'm going to warn you if you're gonna do it yourself that is an enthusiast level uh build it yourself project you definitely that I don't I'm, I probably wouldn't do it myself personally. I'd probably pay someone to do if I or if I did want uh, liquid cooling like that, a full system like that. I would definitely probably pay someone instead of doing it myself. It's just so I feel for me at least that'd be a little risky. Regular PC level all in one cooling heatsink easy for me, but that liquid cooling level, I don't know if I'd do that. There it there's videos online that help explain it, and there's also websites as well that you know demonstrate of how to handle a. Um, liquid cooling system so definitely check out your resources to see the level of difficulty but i can tell you right now it is not easy i don't want to interrupt but i am back oh welcome back thank you i just wanted to say we're so glad to have you here on the stream but if you do if by any time uh, time maybe something comes up or you need to prepare for your stream for today and you jump out just let me know you will do the the send off so just let me know, because you don't have to be here for the full stream. We appreciate it if you do, but you don't have to. Listen, I'll, I'll just be frank. I was told I can stay for 10 minutes, I can stay for half, or I can stay for full. I'm attempting to stay for the full, uh, because, uh, again, uh, how do I say this without throwing other people under the bus? I would say that someone in my position, without sounding incredibly arrogant, might not want to do that. However, I am very thankful for this relationship. I think this PC is going, I know that this PC is going to be absolutely incredible. And uh, it's just the dude that I'm, I, I, I'm enjoying uh, kicking back and, and watching this happen and hanging with you, talking to the chat, answering questions, you know? So here I am. Glad to hear it. But again, by any means, if something does come up and you're like, oh, I gotta go take her something, no problem, zero problem. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, I guess I do have a question. Uh, estimate on remainder of build time. Um, I'll probably say the wiring right now. I think this might take a little bit longer. So I'm going to say probably 40 minutes. That's my estimate. And gotcha. That's just based on where PJ's at right now with the build. Like the internal part with the motherboard CPU and all the other wiring there looks pretty solid. But what does take time is the fan wiring because the fans have two cables attached to them. So it's going to take some time. Ooh, and he's a perfectionist therefore yes he's gonna make sure it's dialed in yep so it does like you can't rush that <laughs> you want the cabling right. done it takes some time but it, it'll be done right two things i know with streaming uh cable management ridiculous i got so much stuff going all different places number one number two <laughs> audio how in the world is audio so darn different <laughs> it is Preach. it blows my mind Preach. <laughs> good gosh unbelievable uh, we have a soundboard here. I know earlier in the stream, uh, people were saying I sounded kind of low, and I realized what it was because the gain had been turned down by accident uh, by our t IT team because they're doing uh -huh. some tweaks on our end for the internet. Our internet's great now, um, but I realized I'm like, oh, that's why we sound so low. So I just had to dial it up. But it's just, I think it's just practice and familiarizing yourself with the audio hardware. Um, it's also not just audio hardware if you have any mixers or um, anything like that, but also on the Windows side because Windows can mess stuff up fast. I don't know if you've had experiences like that. Like, if you're talking on Discord, you're trying to get your stream audio to work, and then Windows changes the setting, and then all of a sudden, you, no one can hear anything. Uh, yeah. It's, <laughs> yeah. You're, you're nailing it. I mean, there's just, yeah. You got to become familiar, but then all of a sudden, it could just be, you could be thrown for a loop and be like, well, what the heck? Yeah, that's happened to us on stream. And I'm like, it's what the, unfortunately, what happens is it happens when I'm not in the streaming chair. And then have to like scramble in here and like remotely like make tweaks so the stream is up and running correctly. Um, oh man! But it's it's something unexpected if you're unfamiliar with it. But it's just like I already know like if something happens like click this, do this, make double check that. It's like a process basically like a protocol for audio. Roger. Hold on, I got a question over here. Are there any delays currently in shipping? All I know is that we are because there's a lot of orders coming in. So there might be some delays in that front, but if you do have any questions, talk to the sales rep. The sales rep is the go-to point person for any information about your order to see what's up. 
So there you have it. The man with all the info. Uh, Danny and Chad has a question for you. What made you go or get into professional basketball? Uh, what made me get into professional basketball? Okay, so let's see. Um, always love sports. Uh, for any kids listening, do not, do not, do not only play one sport. Play as many as you can. Learn how to play on a team. Be a good teammate. Work hard. Listen to your coach. Uh, and just continue to develop as an athlete. Um, and then, let's see. I, I basically... In high school, my freshman year, I instead of playing like three sports, I, I just started playing baseball and basketball. And then from the beginning of my freshman year of high school to the end of my freshman year of high school, I grew six inches in six months. Uh, I didn't play varsity basketball my freshman year. I wanted to give up. Long story short, I didn't give up. I grew to 6'11". I'm now seven feet. Uh, I threw all, all my eggs in one basket and said, okay, I can do this. And here I am. I'm in the NBA. So uh, sports always just a major passion of mine, and I'm just absolutely ob- obsessed with the game of basketball and competitiveness. Because from what we talked uh, earlier, for sure. Oh God, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. The competitiveness as an individual, and there's something about for me being on a team like tennis, golf, all those major respect for the for the high level athletes. And in, in fact, I, I enjoy both those sports. However, um, being able to play on a team and figure out what it is in terms of chemistry and everything along those lines to make it work at the highest level is it's, it's so much fun for me to be a part of a, of a team period. Mm-hmm. And so that's why basketball is, I just absolutely love it. Yeah. And it's that fast pace, right? I still feel like basketball oh, yeah. is just at another level compared to the other sports. It's just, a def- it's, I, I, I like it. It's really exciting to watch. <laughs> Like no uh, digs against action. soccer. Soccer is very hard to you know to do and very managed. And I know it has massive uh, fan base in football, or you know to correctly say because I know people can correct me in chat. Uh-huh. Um, but I, I personally, I think of the sports right now. Basketball definitely number one for me at least. Followed by, probably yeah. by football, but football is just more okay. of just seeing like the, the the crazy plays in football is what makes it interesting at least. But basketball is just you're always like in it. You're like oh man, oh man, what's gonna happen next? Absolutely, so. very action packed. Very very much like oh my gosh they just turned the ball over boom the other team hits a three. Oh my gosh they turn it over again the other team hits a three now all of a sudden it's a tight game and we're going down to the wire blah 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 uh but i will say this though uh watching uh, a football or a soccer <laughs> game in uh in person incredible yep. especially yep. when you have two fan bases or the home fan base like for example the portland timbers massive following because it's mm-hmm. only the timbers and the portland trailblazers in town no football no baseball uh, American football, that is. Yeah. And they they literally go from the before the game, they're they're chanting all the way through the game until after the. I mean, it's insanity yeah. how uh, how uh, passionate some uh, soccer fans of sorts are. Mm-hmm. So it's not for me. A... <laughs> and it's funny I'm saying that in Miami because in Miami soccer's pretty. You know, it, it's it's hot commodity here in Miami. Sure. Yeah. Um, but it's just it, it's not for me. I respect all the players, of course. It takes a lot of, you know, talent, skill to, you know, play at that level. But it's like, hey, <laughs> I'll watch basketball. Yep. Mm-hmm. Basketball's a uh, fun sport to watch, for sure. Ooh, I like, uh, let's see what we got going here. It looks like he's got the, he trimmed down the wiring on the back. Now he's trimming off the reg- excuse me, the rest of the, uh, the remaining uh, zip tie. Uh, let's see, what, what what's the next component in What's your guess? Um, probably the wiring for the fans. Yeah, hold on, let me swap the camera over here. Um, but we're good. I think we're at a good pace right now. My estimate might be even a little bit higher, so we'll see. So you're saying it could be thirty? Yeah. But it's just the, the wiring because you'll see that the wires are gonna be hanging out on that side because those are the wires from the fans. And again, like I said earlier, there's two wires: one for the RGB lighting, and then the other one for the power. So there's like a hub station where all the fans connect to. So that way you can actually customize your lighting to, you know, like make it like a jersey colors or whatever color you like. You want the rainbow, you want the rim, you want all green, you can go with green, um, whatever you like. Yep. Because I know there's a very <laughs> a popular subsect of uh, PC builders and community that just loves RGB lighting. Um, Got it. For me personally, it, it's fun to mess with, but right now I have it off. <laughs> so, 
Oh, let me see here. I think there's some questions earlier that I missed. Do, 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 do. Is there a reason PJ didn't post test before putting in the motherboard inside the case? Um, we're confident, and we always do the post after everything's put together. So. Do, 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 do. He's confidently competent. There you go. That's like another one. I like that, actually. That's what you need when you do PC building, though. You need to have some confidence going in. I know there's someone earlier in the stream that was saying, like, I'm nervous. I'm like, you can't be nervous. If you're nervous, you're going to break something. You have to be, like, full-on confident that you're going to make an awesome PC. Because people oh, get yeah. scared, especially if you're doing it at home and you don't know what you're doing. you got to, you know, do your research, get prepared. Um, I'm not going to compare it to sports, but it's, you know, got to get yourself in the right mindset when you're building a PC. Especially if you've never done it before. It's like, you got to, you know, get in that mindset. Like, I'm going to do it, and I'm going to do it right. And if I mess up, I got to be prepared to deal with the mistakes. Yeah. Let's see. Fandango, see, like I told you, uh, they said it's like a mini European team, basically, when it comes to the Timbers in Portland. He's, uh, they're absolutely right. It's insane. I'm sorry I didn't jump around, but I just saw that in the chat. thought I'd mention it. No, yeah, for sure. Are NVMe a SSD themselves, or are they go just to go in between? So NVMe is, hold on, let me, it's specifically, let me look up the probably describes. I think I've ex explained it before. It's the interface in which the data on the actual M2 drive interacts with the motherboard and the CPU. So it's that interface, right? Um, M.2 is the form factor, so the M.2, um, ssd is that size but the nvme is the, the actual interface that allows it to interact with your pc so hopefully that explains that and then you have of course the pcie um which is the literal like hardware itself hopefully that explains that but there's, there's more technical information online hopefully i tried i, I did it for you Oh, there you go. Math was uh, saying, I was a little bit nervous with my first bill last week, but it turned out to be pretty easier than I thought. There you go. Could you ask, uh, can PJ hear me? Yes, he can hear you with a slight delay. All right, PJ, whenever you get a second. Um, let's just say in emails between Myers Leonard and Origin, I was told that the orientation I wanted would maybe make things a little bit difficult. Why? Um, and by the way, and by the way, I'm totally good with what he's doing, but I'm just curious. Yeah, it depends on the angle and also of what parts are going inside. I think it was um, the parts, yeah, something like that. Especially with the block, if I'm correct, the the GPU thing that we've uh, created, um, whatchamacallit, it's better in a certain angle, if that makes sense. Uh, I see, I see, I see. Especially I see. for visual stuff. 10-4, totally yeah. makes sense now that I think about it. Yeah, our variable mounting uh, definitely, it, it depends on your situation in terms of the aesthetic. It's mainly aesthetics in some airflow cases, because airflow is important in some PC builds, um, especially where you put your PC, because let's say you put it in a corner in a wall, or like there are the walls right there, so you're blowing hot air straight into a wall. You might want that hot air blowing upwards. So that's one of the benefits of the variable mounting system. So. Got it. Uh, Kevin, uh, Origin PC CEO in chat. For you, Myers, I got a question for you. Which is the better feeling, taking someone out in COD tournament or blocking a shot in an NBA game? Oh, man. Well, I would say this. Uh, I guess if it were someone someone like Symphony or uh, who else do you want to play right now in Warzone? Uh, obviously, all the, uh, all the COD uh, CDL players and stuff like that. But uh, I would probably say a, a, a block shot in an NBA game. There's something about protecting that rim and like being the anchor of the defense that just feels real good. Yeah, I think I'd probably go with that option too. <laughs> Cause I'm thinking like if I beat someone like a player in a game sometime, I feel like a game uh, frag or kill or whatever you call it, um, you're fo so focused on the gameplay, you sometimes forget about it. It's like, oh, I just killed uh, Dr. Disrespect. Okay, just keep, gotta keep on going. Cause guess what? There's more people down the road. Exactly. Uh, you gotta keep fragging out. So, but with the block shot, at least I feel you like you did something very significant and you've stopped the other team from doing something. So you, you did something. So and that's what I think, at least. 
Uh, agreed. And uh, Kevin's talking about like you know taking out Ninja or Symphony or Doc or someone like that. I mean, that'd be pretty cool. I'll be honest. I was in a, uh, a since it's skill based, you know, you tend to run into some of the same people, and then especially when you're playing in some of these bigger tournaments, um, you're gonna see. So we, we ran into Symphony Huskers and. I think Nate Shot was with them in a trios tournament, mm-hmm. and they had, they had height. Unfortunately, I came so close uh, to to downing two of them. And anyways, the point is, is like uh, Kevin's right. Like if you take out a high level streamer, then then it's pretty cool, you know. Yeah. But, uh, something about being on that on that NBA floor and and, and making an impact is just whew, make your hair stand up. Yeah. Funny story. A long time ago, I participated in this event that uh, the Xbox team put together. Um, it was like to play Battlefield with a, a celebrity or whoever, and mm-hmm. it was with uh, Dave Mustaine, uh, Megadeth. Okay. If you're familiar with music, so he was playing Battlefield, uh-huh. and I was like, "Oh yeah, you know why not? Let me jump into the Battlefield servers and see what's up." Um, I had Battlefield on the Xbox. I also had it on a PC, but I was like, "Oh yeah, let me let me jump in the Xbox and see what's up," and. Uh, <laughs> I ended up killing this player who didn't know what they were doing. I'm like, oh, let me just, you know, do do the knife kill. And it turns out it was Dave. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay, I got Dave Mustaine's dog tags in Battlefield. There it's we pretty go. Fun. It was funny. It was just a, a goofy kind of little thing. Because typically players in Battlefield, are, uh, they move in like little like swarms. But it's uh-huh, very uh-huh. odd to see a player that was just kind of like out in a little building, really not sure what to do. So I'm like, oh, I don't think he knows how to play. <laughs> oh, yeah. Then you you used your uh, your uh, the knife. Yeah, you just it's like bye an embarrassing bye. kill, all right? So it's like a oh yeah, you get yeah, killed you by the knife. You're like, like oh. a noob. Yeah, but I thought it was kind of funny little story there. I'm like, oh man, I, I felt bad. I'm like, this dude doesn't know how to play. <laughs> <laughs> For sure, you're creeping up and you're like, well, he doesn't know how to play. This is I'm about to embarrass him, but because in Battlefield you're always moving, you're always moving forward. It's like pushing forward or defending a point. But it was just he's just sitting in a building. <laughs> Oh yeah, I played Battlefield for a for a short period of time. I think it was Battlefield Four, maybe. Because mm-hmm. um, I like the sniping, I like the bullet drop, and 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 the uh, I liked it for a, a bit, but then I of course went right back to Call of Duty. Yeah. Like you say you just got to go back to your go tos, man. It's your go tos. I know uh, we have people on the team that love Call of Duty, so I'm, I'm obsessed. And it's interesting to see the different plat or the gameplay on the different platforms too. For me, I like the campaign for Modern Warfare, but the multiplayer is kind of. I haven't tried Warzone though. I have seen the videos, but I'm just like. <sighs> all three, all uh, three are good. All three are good. I can assure you. Yeah, some other people in chat are talking about the blocking the shot. Oh yeah. But yeah, the wiring, yeah, so right now what PJ just did, he's adding the uh, Corsair Commander Pro. So that's like the super hub that connects all the lighting together. And it gives you an incredible amount of options for colors. If you care about that, because sometimes people are like, no, I just want to turn it off. It's fine. And I totally understand, because I do it myself, to just turn off the lights if it's getting too distracting or trying to focus and you see this bright light just coming off the side. I'm like, oh, I don't want to see that. So, yeah, Jesse Gaming, that is the Commander Pro. It's it's the big one. Well, let me yell at PJ. I want to get his estimation to see how long it'll take. Okay. PJ, turn down the music. This is actually hilarious. Nope, he's not interested in talking to you, Luis. Sorry. Uh, I'm gonna do something real quick. Let's see if uh, this works. It didn't work. I have to throw something heavier. Uh oh. I am throwing stuff at you. Why are you throwing stuff at me? <laughs> To get your attention, oh, cool. uh, how long do you think we got left? Uh, like half an hour? PJ says a half an hour. 
So my estimation, my initial estimation of 40 was under now. So it's probably going to go up to. A, yeah, that's what. Yeah, it's the the wiring for the Commander Pro. Shot and a miss. Yeah, that first one's gone, but the second one got got his attention. <laughs> I'm not a bully. See, the reason I mute my mic is I don't want to yell really loudly in your ear, Myers, and also the chat, because I was legitimately yelling. So. Fair enough. Oh, someone managed to pull off the O in chat. And we got our little uh, origin emotes. Nice. 50% so. career average. One hit, one didn't. <laughs> <laughs> It's That's the weight, funny. man. The weight of the object. That towel just didn't go anywhere. It's uh... yeah, unfortunate. We don't hear you. Someone on YouTube was saying we don't hear. Is like I muted myself. And there's a reason for that. Cause trust me. Oh, I can also hear my own voice via the headset. So I imagine if I yelled, I'd be blowing out my ears, and that's not a good thing. So, gotta keep the hearing. Oh, no. Why didn't that send in two different messages? I definitely <laughs> did it right. You have Hater. to do... <laughs> I definitely did it right. I'm telling you. No! Now somebody blocked me. Hey, chat, knock it off. Knock it off. <laughs> for crying out loud, I give up. It was a good effort. Uh, for those of you in the other uh, channels, uh, Myers is trying to make the full O... But the chat is responding too fast, so we can't make the full origin O in chat. <laughs> so other people are trying to pull it off too now. Oh, someone managed to do it. Nope. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm done. Beefy, the Beefy's one of my mods actually. He tier one. Oh, there you go. <laughs> that boom though. <laughs> Beefy, that's good enough. That was a good boom. Kevin cheated. <laughs> there. All right. Three three origin O's for a for a Myers Leonard Miami Heat three pointer. There you go. There you go. Can't stop me now, chat. Haters. Oh, Wolf over on YouTube. What kind of PC build are are they doing? So we are actually building an origin PC Millennium for Myers Leonard, who we have here on here speaking to you. Hi. Um here are the specs just in case you missed it earlier. They're also scrolling down below. But the general gist of this build, it's a Origin PC Millennium with a Ryzen 9 3900X CPU, 12 cores, an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Ti, 32 gigabytes of Corsair Dominator Platinum RGB RAM, a 1 terabyte Seagate Firecuda NVMe M.2 SSD, which again pairs extremely well with the AMD Ryzen CPU because it's third gen Ryzen. You know, you get that PCI Gen 4 speed, and a 6 terabyte Seagate Barracuda HDD. Whew. That's Whoa. sometimes a mouthful, but I have to go over it because we have people coming in and out. So, you know, I don't mind. Because people are like, what are you building? So, well, we got it. And like I mentioned earlier, the specs are actually scrolling at the bottom. So if you want to just see a quick glimpse of what's going on, it's almost like Sports Center bottom line. Yeah. That's kind of the idea of like the, the gist of that. It's like people want to see what's exactly going on. And they just, you can see it there. So, love it. Price. Uh, so I did my estimation. I said it was four thousand eight hundred. I can actually spec it out here. A similar build. Again, it's not going to be exactly the same, but I can spec out a similar build um, here on OriginPC.com. I'm gonna do that right now. Just to click away to see if I can get a. Is it like? Is this a joke? By the way, it has to be. Uh, like, yo, let me have a free PC. Got to be a joke. So the way the person wrote it is definitely a joke. So because well, no, 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 that, that's I like the that, meme text. I'm talking about like on the. Uh, um, on like social media. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's just a common thing because sometimes we host giveaways, so people are like, "Oh, this is our chance," you know, to to get a. Got it. Free PC. So then I was like, I want a free PC. It's like, 
realistically, that is not feasible. But we do the giveaways to, you know, interact with the community, you know, Got get it. some hype together. Because last sure. week we um, announced the winner. Actually, a week now, uh, we announced the winner of the uh, giveaway for Trials of Mana PC that we did. Okay. And uh, that always brings in a bunch of viewers to the chat because they want to know, am I the winner? Am I the winner? Um, but actually, funny story. Uh, I said this story yesterday. But the winner for last week's uh, system, uh, they found out they were the winner via YouTube because all of our streams go on YouTube after the fact. And he saw that his name was on YouTube, but he didn't think he he, didn't, he had a second thought about it. It's like, wait, is that me? And then he watched the clip and he's like, and then he checked his email. It's like, oh, that is me. <laughs> so the YouTube uh, VOD actually helped him alert that it's like, oh, he is the winner. So surprise. Well, yeah. So that's pretty cool. Got it. What? Beefy, knock it off. One of my mod is saying that PJ broke something. He's being an idiot. <laughs> All right, I'm actually going to make a quick swap over here to our site to do a quick estimated build. Nice. Some of the specs that we got I'm today. Interested. So, just as a reminder, we're going with the tempered glass aluminum. The exterior is white. So we put the white panel there, and the interior is also white as well. There is also interior lighting, already included, and I'm going to hold off on this laser etching for now. CPU, we went with the Ryzen 3900X, which is right over there. You'll see the price update on the right side of the screen. It'll be auto updating right there. Motherboard, that's the motherboard, exact same one. Memory. 3200, 32 gigabyte Corsair Dominator. Cooling, we went with this one, the Corsair H150i. Crycore, nope. Uh, we're gonna go with the QL fans. Again, uh, LL fans are no longer available on OriginPC.com, but we've upgraded to the QL fans, which offer even more lighting for your PCs. Yeah. So, again, that's available on OriginPC.com. Uh, the GPU we went with the 2080 Ti. Bloop. All right, I think I might be getting there. I'm getting close. I might be right. Question, Let's see. Question: While you go through this, yeah. Um, what's the most expensive PC Origins ever built? Um, uh, we've asked. Uh, people have asked us before, but PCs can actually go up to a hundred thousand dollars, and that's because Jesus of the Christ. well, because of the workstation, right? So workstation systems sometimes need hard drives. And mm -hmm. when you add multiple hard drives of extremely large size, that like those hard drives themselves can be like ten thousand dollars sometimes, or like five thousand oh, dollars. Okay. A hard drive, um, okay. and then also workstation graphics cards can also escalate quickly. There's like workstation graphics cards that are like eight thousand dollars just for a graphics card for workstations. Um, but again, that's because wow. of the workstation side of things. For a gaming PC build. Typically, if you, like a super high-end Max, like I'm talking like Super Max, Super Custom, could probably reach the ten thousand dollar range. Um, but workstation systems definitely take off and can go into a, a whole nother level. Yeah, they do. PJ is saying like no, they don't, but they can. No, they don't. Um, again, the one terabyte fire code is not on site, but we do have this one right here. It's a two terabyte. So again, this is an estimation. It's not going to be exactly the same now. All right, we got that. The storage drive, we want the six terabytes. Uh, it's not there, so we'll go with the Seagate. And then power supply, we want the 850. All right, I was off by 100. So yeah, 4,907. And again, that also doesn't include the other customization options. So it's a little bit higher than that, but that is uh, the close estimate to the builds we are building today. Again, if you customize it exactly like an originpc.com. Roger. Um, but if people, so one thing people sometimes get scared, they see the giant price and they're like, oh, that's too much, is because these are extremely high-end parts. There's customization involved, RGB lighting is included. We're going with a two terabyte SSD for the sample, a large storage drive. Like there's so many variables that can make the, the price change. Yep. And uh, if this price does scare you, we do offer our ready-to-ship uh, desktops with already pre-configured options that are pretty solid. So let me refresh that. Actually, it's brand new. So we got our AMD Ryzen desktop and an Intel ready-to-ship desktop and also a ready-to-ship desktop with uh, Corsair case. So again, all Whoa. that's available at uh, originpc.com. 
All right, let me jump out of there. Hopefully the answer to that price question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was close. A little You're off, but close. I was close. You're definitely versed in this space. Well yep. done. I like the green screen action, by the way. I'm a little jealous. Oh, thank you. It's, uh, we have the Elgato um, green screen uh, extendable one. We turned it on inside because if you do it, uh, the vertical, it wouldn't work. So we just did it horizontally. It works out for us. So Got it. And of course, we have our uh, Logitech webcams as well to the crisp quality that you guys can see uh, the build. So, mm -hmm. yeah, webcams right now are hard to come by. Let me double check if we still have webcams on our site. Um, no, it's insane. Yep. Let me double check because the last time I said we had webcams, I don't know if we sold them out or sold out. No, we still have some on our site. So if you're oh, interested okay. in webcams, uh, originpc.com slash gear shop uh, webcam category. We have the Asus ROGi webcam and a smooth $90, which is significantly lower than what the scalpers are selling on eBay and Amazon. So. People legit scalping webcams? Oh, yeah. Dude, PJ's asking if there's people scalping webcams. There are. They are. Absolutely are. Um, people are selling the Logitech webcams, the one that like the ones that we have here in the studio, for like two hundred, three hundred dollars. Jeez. And typically, they sell like MSRP, ninety dollars, hundred. But people are trying to take advantage uh, of the situation. Serious question: One of my What's mods up? has been looking for a webcam, and he's like, "Wait, where? What? Origin has one on their website for ninety. What the heck? How do I get to it?" Uh, yeah, originpc.com/gearshop, and then in the left column, you'll see category, and it says webcam. And you can just uh, click add to cart. So you said originpc.com backslash gear shop? Yes, correct. Okay, beautiful. Thank you. And I don't know how much we have. I might be saying that, uh -huh. and all of a sudden we sell out, so uh -oh. uh, we'll see. You better hurry. And if you want to look up the reviews, um, I mean, the Asus ROGi, I think that's similar to what they include on their laptops. Um, but it seems to be a pretty high-quality webcam. You can look up reviews if you want before you go for it too i typically do that before jumping on a product i always you know do my research and make sure i know what i'm getting myself into yeah yeah no it's not it's not for me it's for my mod i have a i use a logitech brio and then also uh, that's for my dual camera mm -hmm. and then for my main camera i use an ndihx okay yeah very high quality yeah <laughs> if you want to have a high quality stream you need to definitely go on that angle we're using the logitech ones logic ones work uh great for our stream Love it. So, I think we are sold out, but if you have not email us, uh, we can see what we can do. Uh, Myers, that's a message from Kevin. Let me oh. check here. Okay. Um. Again, I, I'm, I've always asked, man, like, we might be sold out because webcams move real fast. So. Yep, yep, yep. I'm going to get an actual DSLR camera set up at some point. Well, yeah. I know the Elgato Cam Link is currently sold out, too. It's a bummer. Everything's sold out. VR headset sold out. PC is not sold out. Available on OrangePC.com. <laughs> <laughs> Don't need one if you have a cam here. Oh, yeah, you're fine. Never mind. Because I know some cameras do need the cam link to get that quality. Wait for lockdowns to uh, to live price on everything is going to drop. Or lift, lift, lift to lift price. The build looks pretty nice, though. That wiring is very solid. And I mean, just yeah, a matter of. Up like that. <laughs> PJ's just tumble bragging. Like Love it. Efficient. 
That was nice. Tell PJ that was good. Said it was good. That was a good one. I like that one too. <laughs> What's next tier, uh, Luis? Yeah. Our, what's next? Yes, sir. Um, in terms of what? <laughs> on the uh, PC on the build? build, it's just wiring, wiring, and then adding the GPU. The GPU is really easy to wire. And PJ, if I'm correct, already pre-wired it, so it's just a matter of plugging the cables. I the video card. Got it. Right, PJ has not pre-wired the video card. So. I'm supposed to give PJ a hard time. No. I give him a hard time, then he, he gets a little slow, and he starts yelling at the chat. <laughs> uh, Blade, you can just post the part, uh, post like a text part list if you want. It's like a general gist. You don't have to put the full detail. I, I can probably put stuff together in my head. You just put it in chat. As long as it doesn't go like a certain character amount, it doesn't matter to me. Can I send my computer in and do the wiring? Uh, I don't think so. I don't. I don't think PJ accepts that. <laughs> so, because then plus you're shipping out your system too. So. Over in YouTube, making fun of the speed. <laughs> <laughs> the kill management is OMG. So beautiful. I agree. Look at it. I mean, it's just incredible. Let me swap the, cameras the, here. The I can... precision here is just next level. This is another angle. So it's just that Commander Pro. When you add more devices to a PC, that means you have more things to wire. Um, I learned that myself. It's true. Like the second you add more things, it gets more complicated. Which is why I'm a huge fan of NVMe drives, because um, with NVMe drives, you just plug it into your motherboard, and it's fast. It's already on the motherboard, so you don't need the SATA cable or the power cable connecting to your SSD, and less cables. So again, you can check out that uh, Seagate drive, Fire CUDA SSD. Fire CUDA. You got a question over a mixer? Shoot it. Uh, road over on Facebook, uh, you might have to uh, contact our sales team because of the crisis. I don't know if we're doing that. Um, I have no idea. So definitely, if you're interested in picking up your system at um, at Origin PCHQ, contact the sales team to see if that's an option. I don't know. If I did, I would have told you, but I have no idea. I'll be here. I just got to mute for a sec. I'm going to get on a quick call. All right, no problem. How do you make PC with the console? So that's uh, the big O. Uh, that's using the 2080X case. So if you've seen the 2080X case, you'll see that it's a dual chamber design. So one side, we've dedicated it solely for the PC. And then the other side, which typically, use, if this was a normal PC build, would be used for uh, hard drives, cables, and just airflow. You can also put some radiators there in if you wanted to. But we've changed it to the fact that you can actually put, we put the entire console on the other side of the the build so one part is pc and the other part's console and that's how it works that's a very simple explanation but there you go what's up i'm saying hi to uh in silver chat hello it fills a pci slot though yeah i mean that's yeah but if you have a motherboard with multiple pci slots then i have two on my pc i have only one filled and i might have to Consider getting another two terabyte SSD. So. Mr. Key, I wonder, does the company have the same level of cable management around the office? Do they do in their systems? We do. Our IT team definitely has to. Um, my workstation is a millennium. It's an old school millennium, but it's definitely a high quality build. Yeah, they have to be clean. I mean, I know a lot of the company also uses laptops, but for me, per I use a workstation because I do a lot of media stuff, and sometimes I have to render some stuff if I have to, like an After Effects or Premiere. So I use desktop, a big boy desktop. Uh, let's take a look, Blade of those specs. 3950X, RG Ryu cooler, uh, MSI Gaming motherboard, Cursor Vengeance Pro RAM. 
that's solid, man. I don't. I mean, it's just a matter of putting it together. Yes, man. I would probably say to make sure that if you're doing, since you're doing a custom build, make sure you can always access it and make upgrades if you need to. Like maybe if you want to change or mess with the storage options, um, or the GPU in the future, especially since you're making it a really custom system. Like if you want to make it last a while, you definitely want to make sure you can access the parts inside. So, do you guys prefer the Ryzen or the Intel cores lately? We love them both. Yesterday we did a build with Intel uh, i9 9800K, and today we're building with a Ryzen 9 3900X. So, you ask me, we lack them both. My system has 2.5 terabytes. Is that good for you? Does that work enough? I have a two terabyte in mine. And I still think that's not enough. I'm considering again. I'm considering upgrading. Yeah, I definitely would definitely look into what I call it, making sure you can access the internals just in case. Again, it, it's not even upgrade related. Like if something happens to a part, uh, you should be able to easily access the components. There's no such thing as enough storage. Yeah, that's true. I guess. I mean, is 16 terabytes enough? <laughs> Maybe I don't know. Didn't I put that in the in, in the video? I did waiting to hear back. If not, just to know, uh, call, see with the sales team. They should know. The problem is the sales team is working from home, so I believe they have a setup so they can communicate via VoIP. If I'm correct, I, again, could be totally wrong. I don't care about RGB. I just need power. What is going on? We are building a PC and we're uh, nearing the tail end of our PC live build. Um, welcome, number one. Um, so you can see uh, we are Origin PC. We're, we build PCs and we're doing a live build for none other than Myers Leonard. And professional basketball player. Formerly in Portland, Go but Heat. now part of the Miami Heat. Yeah. Go Heat! <laughs> Heat Nation. Um, we love the Miami Heat here in Miami, so quite an honor, quite an honor. Uh, got you now. That makes sense. Got some questions over in Twitch chat. Let me run, knock them out real quick. Look at Linus and his petabyte. He's on his third th server. That is true. I think he's just making servers and servers and servers. Oh, uh, Michael, I'm a new streamer. I was wanting to get a, a PC for gaming and streaming, but not a super expensive one. What would be good? Um, if you're doing a single PC setup, you're going to need a minimum, minimum, an i7 or a Ryzen 7 processor. And that's just the bare minimum. Again, if you're going to be doing gaming and streaming on one system, if you want better performance and ensure and I guess security, go with the nine. So going up a tier is necessary. Again, we're gonna we're for you specifically. I'm basing it on the CPU first, and then everything else just kind of falls through that. On OriginPC.com, we do have our ready to ship system options. Uh, let me jump to that real quick, just to showcase briefly. I don't want to spend too much time. Um. Just so you can see what we offer and what's the PCs I'm about to show you are very ready for streaming, like more than enough ready. So let's do a quick jump to showcase. So these builds ship out uh, in one to three business days. I keep doing that. It's just days. <laughs> uh, Origin PC Neuron cases uh, using Corsair cases. And both of them are outfitted with very powerful CPUs. The AMD build specifically comes with a Ryzen 9 3900X, which is very beefy and can handle both streaming and gaming on one system. And over here is the Intel Core i7 9700K, which is also very good for doing both. Both of these systems run with a 2080 Super GPU, and again, the RAM and storage both fall through and are, again, perfect for a streaming or one PC streaming setup. Alternatively, we do offer a Corsair Crystal Series 2080X with an Intel Core i7 9700K with a 2070 GPU and 16 gigabytes of RAM. This is also a very solid start, and again, this is what we offer is ready to ship. This is non-customizable and uh, ready to go. This is an introduction of offers. 
but definitely you want to base it on your uh, CPU. Pretty important, but then also your GPU can also play a part if you're using NVENC encoding. So, because NVENC encoding is a massive boon if you're streaming. If you're streaming games and uh, just content in general, we're using NVENC encoding for this stream right now. So everything you're seeing is powered through NVIDIA. Minionod. I hope I pronounced that correctly. My PC build last year, Corsair Obsidian 750D, big boy case, i 9 k da, 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 da. Very solid. I'm pretty sure it's still hanging. It'll absolutely for sure knock it out. Wait, where's the GP? Oh, 2070. There you go. OC. Nice. Very nice. Also use custom cable mod cables, black and white. Well, very nice. Very nice. The Ryzen 5 16 and 1070 is good for 1080p 60 FPS. Are we talking about gameplay? Yeah, for gameplay for sure, but for streaming, mm, a little tricky there. Can I post a link of a picture of the build? Uh, uh, mm, mm, mm. Hmm. You can do it in our Discord channel if you want to. Let me see if I can jump on there real quick. Discord's probably the best place to do it. Uh, we actually have a place that says uh, showcase your build or show us your rig. Uh, we don't care. You can show it's people share everything on there, um, so that's typically a pretty good place to showcase builds. So if you want to join our Discord channel, uh, Discord.gg/OriginPC. Uh, our mods have to approve it, and then uh, you're clear. Actually, because I am on the Discord, I think does Origin have uh, power here? Do you have the power? Yeah, you have to introduce yourself and then um, the team can add you. Let me check real quick. Let me, I see some people added on here. Let me fix that. Can I change people? No, I need, ugh, dang it. I need to, hmm. I wonder if I could do it through my phone. Let's take a look. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Sorry, guys. I'm just doing some Discord moderation on my phone. Trying to get people on the server. If mods are watching, can you add people on the server? Definitely appreciate it. Let's see. Whoop. All right, let's see. Can I do stuff to you? No, I cannot. Excellent. Can only do so much in Discord phone. Oh, no, nope, maybe let's see. Profile. Mm. Aha! There you go. Bam. I'm going to work on everyone, adding everyone one by one. Don't worry, I'm here. I'm just knocking people out over here and. Give me a moment. I'm not browsing my phone, I'm helping people on Discord. I know this doesn't look very. Um appealing but I'm, I'm helping people out on that join the discord server or discord server i should say all right don't worry minion i'm getting to you soon i'm just catching up with everyone else that joined during the stream and then minion i'm getting to you now come on bam there you go i got all you guys so if you join during the stream i got gotcha. you See, I think that should be good. Double check. There you go. Everyone should be good. Awesome. Welcome all of you who joined the Discord server. Welcome. Let me catch up here. Oh. Oh, Sheriff Shrimp. Hey, how's it going? I see you over there, Sheriff. Don't worry. We're, we're working on stuff over here. We're working uh, on Myers Leonard's PC. So, glad to see you in chat over on Mixer. Speaking of which, I am here. Welcome back, Myers. How's it going? 
Uh, good, thank you. How's your call? Just hanging out. <laughs> uh, good. Just a quick uh, couple of things for the uh, the tournament tonight. You know, just uh, dialing in a couple details, I guess you could say. Yeah, that's something that went in a couple hours now. Yep. Yeah. About two hours, 45 minutes. Are you going to do some training beforehand, Call of Duty, or...? I play plenty. Honestly, <laughs> I was gonna say like you probably I, played so much. You're like, I'm good to go. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely play prior, but I might actually take a quick nap. I'm uh, I was up late and then I had early PT workout this morning, so. Mm-hmm. Got we'll a lot of energy for tonight. Exactly. So. Exactly. All right. All wiring still, I see. Yep. Just doing some finishing touches. And then uh, all good from there. Because the power supply's in there, but I still think we got a little bit more to go. Gotcha. So. Origin HQ, we are based in Miami, Florida, in the far western part uh, near West Kendall area, or in the West Kendall area. And then let me take a look at this uh, mod. People are talking about their own builds, so... Oh, very nice. Is that a Titan? I can't... No, that's the... Never mind. It looked like a Titan because of the gold, but it's just the lighting. It's the 2070, yeah. Very nice. Impressive. And that's why we have our Discord server. People can always jump in there and uh, talk PC parts. Um, our mods are always pretty active there. And then also um, showcasing their own builds. And again, we don't judge anyone. <laughs> that's the cool thing about the PC community, at least ours over here. It's like, you know, it could be hand-built. It could be something else from wherever. Customized, built, build, pre-built, whatever. As long as, you know... You mess with it, post it, share it, give it some love. Uh, Miss Nikita coming up. I built my PC last year based on the 1094 and Asus Encore board. Oh my gosh, 120 gigabytes, platinum RAM, 20 Ti. Oh my gosh, this is a intense period. If you're adding a VR wireless board into the system, oh. That is an intense build, Miss <laughs> Sakita. Holy moly! But definitely ready for uh, all sorts of gaming and high, definitely workstation and stuff as well, especially with 128 gigabytes of RAM. Whoa! So, is this stream at an at-home stream or at the workshop? So we're at the office, but I've been isolated, so I don't go out and walk around or whatever. I typically walk around with a mask here in the office, so. Yeah, this is uh this stream room is the isolation room for me at least. I know we have some team members uh working here, but a good chunk of us are working from home too. So speaking of that, once once the world quote unquote goes back to normal, uh I gotta come visit. Oh yeah, for sure. More than happy. I'm sure the team I know the actually I'm not for sure. I know the team would be extremely happy to have you visit for sure. Oh yeah. You can count on it. <laughs> You can count on it one hundred percent. I know Kevin I, will hold you to that. I one hundred percent know Kevin will hold you to that. So you you might not be able to get rid of me. I might be in there <laughs> geeking out about computer parts. Yeah, we got a. It, it's cool walking around. I guess like seeing like especially all the hardware and like all the cool PCs we got. So yeah, exactly. PJ, where the heck did you go? Uh, he had a minor cut, but he took care of it. Minor. Minor cut. I see people are actually posting a, or mini mo or minion posted another picture. There you go. That looks cool. The uh, I think those are LL fans, minion. Oh, uh, for sure, Kevin. I know you can hear me through the stream. Uh, it'll be a lot of fun to come in and get a tour of the facility. It's just obviously we we all got to stay safe right now. I've been quarantined and haven't gone like one square mile from my house other than to walk my dog, mm -hmm. uh, in like. Uh, a month and a half however long it's been mm -hmm. i don't go anywhere but still working hard yes indeed always 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 crushing it on the bike uh weights all that i share of uh, sheriff Sharif, who we built a pc last week he says he's gonna also try try to make it down sometime too great everyone's gonna come visit <laughs> 
I named my PC Celine from Underworld. Sorry, Kate Beckinsale. Until I seven eighty seven or K, so you can get back to Corsair Revenge Stream twenty eight. You guys are all have like your awesome builds, man. And then uh, Minion wants to add a a custom water EKW beat loop, and that is a mission. Let me tell you, it's custom loops, man. I think that's the one thing that I have to spend a lot of time. If I want to do it myself, I'd have to spend a lot of time learning. So. I don't know if you got me. I don't know what I got you, PJ, well, but... You're going to spend a lot of time learning now, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning from the best. But it's a definite project if I wanted to go that down that route. I think my concern, though, with uh, custom cool systems is upgrading. As far as what? Like, what's your concern? Like GPU. You to yeah, if I want to replace a GPU. Just make sure you just don't get rid of your air cooler when you convert. Yeah. If you were to cut your hair down to, don't use any of the factory. Uh, like uh, not bald, but it's short. How long would it take to grow that back? Um, man, I think it would probably take to grow it to the exact same length. Yes, sir. Probably uh, two years. I've been growing this out for now close to two years now. It's pretty crazy, actually. Yeah, everyone knows me. I started here at Origin with short hair, and there's actually some streams with me with, like, short hair. And then you can slow... As the streams progress, you can see the hair go from, like, here and just slowly and steadily continue growing out. So... Uh -huh. That's pretty cool. It's been a fun experience. I figured, why not? Yeah, I mean... Go. go for it. So... The same way you feel about your hair is the same way I feel about my beard. I'm um, like checking all the comments. That's why I'm looking all over the place. I'm like, oh, comments over here, comments over there. Jesse Gaming coming with a good old, did you know? <laughs> did you know that when hair falls out your head, it bleeds at the stem? Uh, <laughs> Minion says, my old PC uh, uses me a server, i7 2600 OC'd with a 7070 GTX. PC still works fine. Oh, yeah, for sure. That still works. Like we were talking about earlier, I was telling uh, Myers that you can repurpose old hardware to do different things. Um, sometimes people use them as media servers or as a media PC, so you can hook it up to your TV and, you know, use Netflix or play 4K content on your PC via that, so... Haven't learned how to OC a CPU yet. Don't know. I haven't yet. It's tricky. You can do it, but there's like a there is a risk. I don't say a huge risk, but there is a risk involved. Wife's PC is where my old hardware went. See, give it new life. Exactly. Um, the PC we built yesterday for Bike Man. Uh, we were talking about because he originally got an Origin PC a couple years ago, three years ago now, and yesterday was a, a refresh because we're working with Bike Man again. And he was saying how he's going to repurpose that PC for like a VR room, so he's going to move it for like and also VR and streaming room. So if like guest comes over to his house and they need to stream, uh, there's already a PC set up and get to go for that. And I remember Bike Man's old PC; it's very solid <laughs> PC. I believe that was a 1080 Ti with the i7 6700K. I think I'm estimating, but the new PC build is uh, similar to yours, Myers, but with an Intel Core i9 9800K. Again, both got PCs it. awesome. So. Got it. Got it. Yeah, Miss Akita, your builds just insane. 9900 KS Maximus, that's a crazy motherboard. It's just like compliments all around. And EK water cooled. Oh man, and the 2080X. Very cool. All I can say is that we have people in chat that are very serious about PC building. <laughs> I'm glad. That. That very, it's, it's cool. So. Oh, 
that looks like a pretty important wire. Yeah, so that, if I'm correct, let me change the angle here quickly. If I'm correct, that is for the G. Oh. No, no, that's that's a motherboard cable. I believe that's, that is the motherboard, yeah. Pete is moving the, the camera closer so we can see. It's a beauty. I'll wait till you see it when it turns on. Oh boy. Yeah, that's definitely the motherboard cable. The 24 pin. That is a big card. Yeah, that's the EVGA uh, RTX 20 Ti. It's a very uh, thick card. If I'm correct, that takes up three slots. Yep. So, and a lot of room there in that PCI, but there's still plenty of space to add more stuff if necessary. This thing is crazy. In a good way, of course. Yeah. EVGA's beard is crazy. In a good way, of course. Lots of craziness in a good way. <laughs> I've actually seen Jay's two cents create a custom water block for that. Huh. For that for this the I mean Jay? Hmm. Probably have to check I that out. Just, I recommend just pouring a bottle of water on your PC if it gets hot. Oh no. <laughs> no that, that is a PC horror story right there. <laughs> We were talking about those yesterday on stream, and Ooh. oh man! I bet you've heard some crazy stories. Yeah, it's. I guess if you're unfamiliar with PC builds and you do something that you shouldn't do, it can get messy. Like yeah. if someone's irresponsible with a custom cooled system, and they open up the reservoir, oh, yeah. and all the liquid leaks. Oh, not God. good. Uh, no. Yeah, no. I'm just racking up um, channel points here. Let's just have a little fun. Yeah, that system, by the way, or Miss Nikita, I just saw the picture as well. Very nice. Compliments from us. I see those water blocked, or the... EKW water block 20 ATIs as well. So that's prior to the installation too. Everyone in chat is now like jealous. <laughs> Some mods are hopping in too. What about the thir <coughs> uh, um, bless you, uh, the 3080 you. Ti GPUs? It's just a matter of I mean I've been predicting it. I know there's the leaks. People talk about the leaks, but again, leaks are leaks, rumors are rumors. Um, my prediction is still for this year. So we will see. Myers using the. <laughs> Wait a yeah. second. Well, that's not our emote. You put that together, didn't you? No, it is. You modify it with this pair of sunglasses. <laughs> that's so cool. Nice. I was like, what? "Wait a second. That's not. Our, that's not our thing." <laughs> no, sir. It's not. What exactly do your channel points do? So that's a, a thing Twitch introduced, uh, basically, if you wanted to highlight a message. So if you watch a stream uh, for a decent amount of time, you'll accumulate channel points. So basically, it's just more of highlighting a message or doing other things. Right now, it's just highlighting a message for now. But if I'm correct, I think we can do some more. I haven't messed with it. That's for me to, to mess with. So if you really wanted to see... I, I see all your messages. You don't really have to highlight a message, but... We'll see. Did you see the ARS? Z490 Extreme Water Force Board. A thing looks like a beast for 1,600. Let me take a look. I haven't really seen the new uh, Z40, Z490 motherboards. Let's take a look. Why not? I have six hit points. So that's a lot. That's a lot. But you really can't do anything with it yet because I think that's settings I have to set up. All right. Let me take a look at this motherboard. How crazy is this? How? Oh my god! <laughs> Gigabyte, what have you done? The block's already on the motherboard. <laughs> that is crazy. What are you doing, Ish? Gigabyte. All right. I 
I don't like to do, it's like to just showcase stuff, but you guys absolutely need to see that. I'm going to show you guys because if you guys are hardware enthusiasts, I haven't seen this. I just saw it now. I'm doing this as a promotion. It's just to show you, okay? It's making explicitly clear. This is crazy. And again, can't get it yet, but from what I've seen, like just looking at the pictures, I'm kind of in shock. And it seems like a ridiculous motherboard, and we'll see how it turns out in the end. But this is over from our friends over at Gigabyte. I mean, we're using a Gigabyte motherboard today, but this is just a forward. We don't offer this in Origin PC. Um, this is just introduced. So we're going to take a brief look at this, okay? All right, so this is the Z490 Aorus Extreme Water Force motherboard. It is includes what's called a mono block, which means that the CPU, or it actually comes with a water cooling block already included and also embedded on the motherboard as well. And the way it looks is absolutely insane. Um, now the question is, you know, performance and all the other stuff, but this is definitely an extreme, extreme motherboard. I've never seen anything like it, to be honest. I know that there probably exists some other motherboards that do stuff like this, but I've never seen anything like this, so we'll see. And again, this is the Intel 400 chipset that was uh, just recently announced. Uh, no dates yet, but it's coming. So, do you, do you guys have fiber at your uh, office? Uh, we do. I don't. Me personally, I don't have any at home. I'm bummed. I want fiber internet. <laughs> it's unreal. I, I'm dying for fiber internet. I, I waited I for it. so long. We tried to up. I literally had the fastest internet possible. It made me so mad. I couldn't up my bit rate. It was like my streams were choppy occasionally, and I lost my mind, so I finally just did it. Mm -hmm. So it is unreal. Oh, which ISP did you go with, or do you have? I'm sorry? Well, which ISP, the internet service provider? Uh, Atlantic Broadband. Okay. I get roughly 925 and above for both up and down that's amazing especially for up up is the one that's hard to yes. get because exactly, uh, ups exactly. are usually really low but downs are pretty high yeah so yeah yeah that's the dream that fiber internet because <laughs> for me I, I would stream at home and just you know do small little streams you know i've been playing a lot of vr lately so i wouldn't mind showing vr uh -huh. but it's just my upload is horrendous Absolutely horrendous. Download's okay, but upload, not feasible. Yeah. All right, let me do a swap cam over here. PJ's definitely nearing the end, by the way, if anyone is wondering. The end game here. There's no buzzer, though. <laughs> we don't have one. <laughs> Azrock has something similar for the X50 or X550 with our aqua board. Yeah. I just, I've never seen anything like that. I've been out of the loop with motherboards. I just know the extreme levels, like the ones in the $500 range and how they have like, you know, plenty of uh, features, but this is a new trend. I'm interested to see how far this goes with the water blocks on the motherboard or motherboards already including stuff like that. So we'll see. All right, I got another build coming in over here. Oh, Sheriff Strafe also talking about fiber at the house. I love it. One gigabyte up, one gigabyte. Oh, my gosh. You guys, all you guys are with the fiber, man. <laughs> it's nuts. Yeah, it's crazy. My friends were joking with me. It's like, you want fiber so much? Go get it. I'm like, I'm going to eat some mini wheats. <laughs> <laughs> Intel Core i9 9900K with a Z390 gaming mother, Asus, 16 gigabyte Corsair Dominator. Now, all you guys got solid builds. I mean, I don't know what to say besides you guys are knocking it out. Like, I, I like you guys are, are like, if there's a mountain of PC builds, a lot of the PC builds I've seen in chat today are near the top. Like, especially for gaming. Again, I'm talking about specifically for gaming. If you have workstation stuff, I know that. Uh, hold on, what should we call it? Let me see if I can find that build early with the one uh, twenty Miss Akita's build with the one twenty eight gigabyte of RAM. Like that's workstation. That is workstation. That is. Gamers don't need 128 gigabytes of RAM. No. No, 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 you don't. 16 is like the sweet spot. 8, you might need a little bit more for some games. 32 is definitely up there, but not necessary. It definitely helps for streaming, though. 
I want fiber too. My network is one G down, G down and 40 up. Man, you guys are struggling. Everyone's with the fiber. <laughs> See, I have a decent PC, but my fiber. Eh. Eh. It's AT and T, man. Actually, funnily enough, I was uh, working from home, and then all of a sudden the internet cut out, and I'm like, AT and T, what have you done? <laughs> I know it was something on their end because everything on our network was fine, but the um, the modem just was like, nope, not today. So, Kevin says I have fiber envy. I do have fiber envy. What's a really good mic? Um, there's plenty of good microphone options. It depends on what your setup is and if you're going to use a mixer or not. Um, here at the studio, we use the blue microphone uh, blackout blue spark. No, we have the blackout spark, so it's an XLR microphone. Uh, um, you can actually see it right there on the camera. That's a good point. Um, Probably should have just opened my eyes, huh? <laughs> it's kind of hidden, though. It's not really, like, the main focal point. But the reason I have it this close so everyone can hear me clearly. Um, but blue's pretty solid. I have one at home. I use the blue snowball at home. Um, it's For me, personally, it's better than using a headphone microphone. But headphone microphones have improved significantly since um, a couple years ago. So... Like I, I'm the headset I'm using right now is the Corsair Virtuoso, and I know that comes with, with a really solid uh, microphone already in with the headset. I just don't have it plugged in because I'm using this as a microphone. So, I use a Corsair microphone as my headset. Yeah, same. I mean, if it gets the job done, it gets the job done. Although, speaking of microphones, um, I've been messing around with uh, NVIDIA's new RTX software for uh, noise canceling. Uh, Myers, have you heard of this or no? Say that one more time, please. It's a, it's a special software for noise canceling. It's called RTX Voice. I have not. So what this does, if you have an RTX hardware, if you have another uh, GPU, another... It could work, but RTX is the ideal GPU because it uses the technology on the RTX cards for the best performance. Um, basically what it does, it uses AI and software and a bunch of engineering behind the scenes to essentially eliminate all vo all like this other background noise. Like right now you can hear background noise right now on the stream. If I had that turned on, that would be eliminated. The only thing you can hear would be my voice. That's crazy. And it's crazy how far technology has come. I know, and I've used it at home, and I've done multiple tests. Because when I play Quake, it sounds like this on the stream. Did you? Can you hear the keyboard clacks and the clicking? Can, no, we can't actually. Okay. Oh, there we go. Now you can hear it. A yeah. If more. I uh, usually when I play Quake, it sounds like this. Yeah. Um, yeah okay. Okay. So if I'm talking to friends on Discord, or doing anything, I'm like, oh yeah, guys, you know, you know, uh, that movie was pretty cool, or whatever. Like you'll hear the clicking, but with RTX uh, uh, voice, all of that is eliminated. The only thing you hear would be my voice. So it's an incredible new technology and definitely a good showcase for uh, using the RT cores. And I'm curious if there's more things on the on the pipeline for that because I know ray tracing is a big deal, but RTX voice is such a cool feature for RTX cards. Um, it's nice, especially for people that have uh, background noise problems that might crop up from time to time. Do you have anything like that, uh, Myers, on your end or no? With what? With background noise. Like for me, you sound perfectly fine. I don't, I don't know if you would benefit too much from it. Um, not too much. Uh, again, audio is a, such a weird thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I, I generally don't have too too much issue. Uh oh, the light is. <laughs> look at PJ. PJ, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, it's on. System's on. I think we're just missing the power supply shroud, and uh, maybe we can do the full showcase. Oh my lord. You can already see the very bright RGB. Um, hold on, let me ask PJ a ask question. PJ. Um, the GPU uh, cover, mm -hmm. is it on? Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to get up close and personal with that uh, in a minute. So. Oh my lord. It's exciting. I, I, I chat, uh, just a warning. The cool stuff is coming soon shortly on the stream if you're listening to the stream i know sometimes people do listen to the stream um 
but we got some cool stuff coming up because the PC is right about done. So that front panel is actually custom painted and it's white. God, I love it. I just I had to have all white for some reason. I'm gonna match the keyboard and mouse and everything. I some I just wanted a unique setup, you know. And now what PJ is adding is the tempered glass side panel, which once it's on has laser etching and look what we put on there. Can you see it? That is kind of so thing? dope. So oh my that is gosh. laser etching on the panel, and we got our logo down there, but we got your hammer with the logo. Yes, indeed. That is beautiful. So Oh my gosh. Very nice. Especially with the light. I think with the lights it makes it look really cool. So. Oh yeah. All right, let's get inside that case though, PJ. I want to I want people to see the GPU. Is he aware of it or no? Yeah. He is aware of it? Yeah. All right, cool. Okay. So now everyone's going to now take a look. Move a little bit upwards. Right there? Nah. Right there? Nah. Right there? Nah. Right there? Look at that. Oh my gosh, that looks incredible. Mars, are you watching? Woo that look at that looks thing. Oh my really, gosh. really cool. And that there is, is RGB so lighting on that, uh, really cool that plate. That I didn't know while I was it. Yeah, what's up? So it is a magnetic uh, part. You can actually remove it if it's, necessary. It's, it's on there. It's pretty sturdy, too. I wasn't so impressed. Don't worry. It doesn't, it's not going to mess with the components, if you're wondering. But it's very solid and uh, adds that extra flair that, honestly, it that design on the GPU and having it in that format, definitely, it just looks so cool. I, I, I think it's fantastic. Thoughts, Myers? This thing is amazing. I mean, just... There's no other way to put it. It's incredible. Uh, the components, uh, just the, the customization, it's just, it, it came together beautifully. I am incredibly, incredibly excited to get to use it. Absolutely. We just have to do some stuff on our end, and then that should be it. Um, of course, we'll do emails and back and forths to uh, determine the shipping and all that and delivery. Uh -huh. But... Uh, it, there's the the actual components inside, and you can see the RGB lighting on, on this build. It looks really nice. So, but if you, you can turn it off if necessary too. Fair enough. So. Fair enough. There you go. Now you can see the logo. And that's it for the build. We went a little bit over time, but we're good. Don't worry, uh, Myers. Guys, like, on number one. Actually, no. PJ's gonna jump on and say a couple words. So. Okay. 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 All right, let me let me know when you're mic'd up, PJ. Yeah, I'm mic'd up. All right, a uh, quick question or question from Kevin: What CPU is in there? This is the Ryzen 9 3900X. So best of the best of the Ryzen that is in the 3950X. But you know, you know what I mean. PJ's on the mic. Yeah, I'm on the mic. I just wanted to say thank you for giving me the opportunity to build this system for you. Um, and yeah, I, I'm hoping that you enjoy this one as much as you're enjoying the other one that you're using right now too. Because I think well, this one's going to be a lot more beefier than the one you actually have. So you're really going to see a big difference. Um, yeah, man. I can't wait. Thank you. Yeah, I really uh, hope you enjoy it, man. Thank you for everything. And, you know, appreciate you being a part of our, you know, part of our Miami Heat, dude. So thank you very much for that. Yes, and, sir. Thank yeah, you, man. I really thing. appreciate it. I hope effort. you get it soon. And if you if you need me to take it over and drop it off to you again, I'll, I'll be more than happy to do that too, man. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, I actually need to get PJ's numbers. So I actually I do have it. All right, PJ. I appreciate it, man. Hold on. Yay. Once we return to normal. He's going to plug me in. You need to go in the back and plug into the green port. No. Oh. All right. Bottom. There he is. By the way, I don't know if PJ is the lucky one or not, or whatever you want to call it, but since he was the one who built my PC, he's 100% coming to a heat game on me. So. Oh. Uh -huh. Hold on. You need to say that again, but once he's mic'd up. Give me a second. Okay. Right there. Hello, hello. I know that you're definitely coming to a Miami Heat basketball game on me in my seats. Oh, dude, thank you very much. I appreciate oh, we that. That's get awesome. PJ, get on the camera. You need to see your face. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Like, holy He's crap. Like, are you, serious? are you serious right now? That's awesome, oh, yeah, I'm man. Thank I'm you. I'm dead serious. Thank you very yeah. much, man. I appreciate that. 
Absolutely. Oh, dude, this is. <laughs> he, I, I think he's got chills. Oh, I, I can feel the force in, in, emanating yeah. from him. He's like freaking out. Yeah, that's crazy because I know how close those seats are, and those seats in the front are ridiculous. Oh dude. yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate that. I think yeah, he might boy, be crying. Uh, Luis, <laughs> no, I'm not crying yet. <laughs> yeah. Luis, you're also in the same boat, brother. Since you, uh, oh uh, you know, my god, spent the, oh. spent the, you know, spent the, spent the time to uh, talk and you know help me through the the build process um uh, maybe you guys can come together or something maybe oh yeah i'm down know, for that yeah i'm That's down awesome. Myers. we'll figure it out we'll figure it out but we'll you guys out. count on it you got tickets on me uh i appreciate you guys i am gonna go take myself a quick snooze absolutely uh, the pc looks amazing for thank sure. you guys once again i'm gonna roll out and uh go get some sleep so i can be ready for this stream tonight no problem again good man. luck with your stream myers thank you for everything thank and you, i'm stunned but again thank you for the subs thank you for everything and thank you for sticking with us for the stream yeah i mean absolutely absolutely all right, guys. Catch you later. You too, man. Have a great weekend. You too, man. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Wow. You're going to the heat game, buddy. <laughs> Woo! PJ is freaking out. I'm, like, internally freaking out, too. You're going heat. This has been one one interesting live build. But, again, shout out to Myers. Woo! PJ's uh, partying in the background. But awesome, awesome stuff. Um. <laughs> so we got a couple more things on our end and then we're going to wrap up the stream this is a little bit of a long stream but a fun stream for sure uh myers an absolute pleasure to talk to you yeah, um cool people. part of the miami heat and just an overall very pleasant just awesome person like just everything he's doing right now his streams just stunned stunned and awesome to have him part of the miami heat and Origin PC now. Origin PC fam. Woo! All right. Let's see what we got. Uh, Miss Kitty, uh, what do you think of my micro ATX? In this? Oh, micro ATX. I got to see. I like those microsystems. Let's take a look. Are these people sending you links to their personal builds? Yeah, they're posting in the Discord. Dude, I want to see. Uh, hold on. Let me see. Oh, snap. Yeah, that's oh, the 2080X right that, there. Where's my mic at? Dude, is that Chrome? Is that Chrome tri uh, tuning? Yeah. No. Nikita's got crazy That's, systems. Yeah, yeah, am I on the mic again? Is that yeah, chrome yeah. tubing that I just saw? Dude, that is ridiculous. I really like that chrome tubing. I want to do something with that. Yeah, very nice. And it's so compact and clean. It's yeah, it looks fresh. Very, very nice. I really did that. What color tubing? Are, what, like liquid? Is that? Are you running clear liquid in that system? Oh, I guess we'll have to wait for spawn. Oh, okay. uh, Mesa, thank you for answering my question. The origin comes tomorrow. I am so excited for you, Mesa. Hopefully, it arrives tomorrow. I know right now it's shipping uh, with UPS and uh, all these places are delayed because what's happening right now. But I'm so excited that you're going to get your hands on it. And again, if you got any problems, support is always there for you. Full water cooling using brass tubes. That's brass? Yeah, that's brass. Oh, nice. Very cool. Nice. Um. I'm going to give you guys a little bit for questions if you guys got anything else because I'm about to ready to bounce and uh, it's Friday. All I got I to gotta do some more stuff over the weekend, but it's cool. It's going to work from home. I use distilled water because it's non-conductive. Should be, should be like interesting. Very interesting. Cool stuff. Yeah, people in, in the Discord are kind of... It's like, wow, wow, that's delayed. <laughs> I'm in college for IT. Any words of wisdom to help with motivation? IT is a very, very solid career. And the thing is, in IT, there's so many different like things you can get into. It's an incredibly flexible degree, and opportunities are just abundant. You just have to find the thing that you really like in IT. It could be networking, it could be, you know, maybe development in IT, um, you know, maintenance, and just all sorts of places. Um, there's a lot of videos that show you the different career options in IT. So IT is pretty solid. And here we love technology computers, so we're in that IT sector. So definitely an exciting um, industry. Is there a good place to go for get custom water cooling? Um, in terms of, um, whatchamacallit, like for a system that you already own, I don't know. But if you want to order a full liquid-cooled system like built by professionals we're one of the places that do offer that Absolutely. so are we hiring we uh you have to be in miami florida for the majority of our positions 
Um, but if you go to OriginPC.com and scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see careers. You'll see what we have available. I don't know what's available off the top of my head. I haven't seen it in a while, but you can check there. Um, if not, there's also, I mean, there's some remote jobs going around, but right now, you know, things are, are, are tough. Um, so it's just a matter of checking and looking around. So let's see anything else from Mixer, Facebook, or YouTube? No, but Sheriff, you're still here. Glad to see you in chat. Tell Sheriff, good to see you, man. Um, PG also says hello as well. Uh, one more quick question. Is a good surf protector to plug into the PC too? You have to check um, some recommendations. I don't know off the temp, uh, some off the top of my head, but I do like the battery ones, the ones with like a battery already inside. So if the power does go out or something, at least your PC is safe and you can turn it off safely. So. Oh, that stream setup is crazier than the one I have here, Mr. Key. I'm watching it and I just saw the update on Discord. Yeah, that is a, you have two more monitors than I do. <laughs> I have three. You have two extra ones. I mean, more monitors would be nice, but I think the ones I got are pretty solid. So. Um, very nice setup. Very professional. I like the camera, too. Um, That's it. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Um, I don't know what we have coming up for us on our end for streams. I have to check with the team. Um, but if I don't see you guys for another couple of uh, days or streams, I hope you guys, you know, stay safe out there and uh you know you well and we will see you next time and hopefully you guys have an awesome weekend it's may or it's gonna be may as they like the cool kids like to say it but uh, hopefully your may is awesome um all right everyone have an awesome weekend again shout out to myers and all of you chat um i'm still I'm just like i'm just like what what do i do, what do, I do now <laughs> I, I don't know what to do um, oh, the heat game, buddy. I was, I was, well, wow. Okay. Stunned. Awesome live build. I'll see you guys next time. See you.